hey, 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 everybody. How are you doing here on this wonderful Monday evening uh, for a special episode of Merlo's Movie Massacre? We are joined today by the cast of the Sawyer Massacre, and uh, we're going to introduce them all one at a time here. First, we have Alicia Jade. How are you doing, Alicia? Hey. Oh, <laughs> doing good. <laughs> Good enough. How are you doing, Steve? <laughs> oh. I'm always great. Always great. Awesome. Uh, then we have the wonderful Nika Lou. Hey, Nika. Hello. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? <laughs> oh. We're all we're all awesome. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, we're going to run into a problem if every person asks you how you're doing as well, because you've already answered that. So oh, we'll course. leave it at that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Riley or Jordan or... I don't know where the other Jordan is. Uh, I don't know if they can hear me, but uh, don't ask me that if you can. Uh, <laughs> this is Briley Michael Bell. Hey, Briley, how you doing? Doing good, man. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> like I don't, like uh, I don't even know I him. <laughs> may have answered that once before. I'm doing good, man. I'm doing good. good. <laughs> and we've got Jordan O'Neill. How you doing, Jordan? Oh. Sorry, this is this is a really weird chat roulette. I don't know how I ended up here. Oh, this is strange. <laughs> <laughs> you know boy, damn well how you ended up. I'm good. It's it's really good to see you guys. And uh, Steve, what color is your underwear? Just to give it a different question. <laughs> how are you doing? Doesn't underwear? even know. You do not have to answer. You can answer. <laughs> as long as we don't got to give him a wedgie, man. That's that's. All right, it's been a great <laughs> night. Good night, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to ask. Zach gave us about that, right? I miss you guys. And this last is, but not so least, cool. uh, our buddy, good. our pal, uh, our other Jordan, Jordan Fourteen. Hey, Jordan. I'm good. What's up? Right, see the right, hair right. is still beautiful. I can't hear you, but <laughs> yeah, pretty anyway, hair. Like, what? Little, little shorter, Looking but great. <laughs> Man. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> ah, yeah, here. A fair chat. We'll see if it's we so... get the spam tonight. I usually get a lot of spam in my chat. Uh, it's yeah. not a very pleasant one. I believe it's called Naked Girls XYZ HD Better Than Tinder. Something like that. <laughs> better Than Tinder. Uh, they haven't okay. shown up yet, but they probably yeah. will. What part uh, of that is not pleasant? Something like that. It's, it's like that. There's our buddy Christian Spencer. Nona Chan, how are you doing? Thank you for joining. And uh, Fangoria Faithful, that's Joe Lawrence, the man oh, behind the poster. Our logo and poster, oh. that's uh, who designed it. And that's Mark Decker. Mark Decker is, if, if I believe it's the same one, it's, you're a nephew of uh, the late to Toby Hooper, who directed the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So, awesome. I, I think it's wow. the same one. So thanks for joining, Mark. <laughs> No pressure. And uh, we don't Sugar Princess. Hey, Who is this? We miss you, Chris. <laughs> oh, Chris. The best host ever. Oh, Chris. The best host of the all best time. Host ever. <laughs> hey, Chris. So I glad glad that you could tune in tonight. Chasing a dream. What's, what's up? up? Oh, Christian. We've already said hi. Oh, here's somebody we know. Kyle Haynes. <laughs> How do you know? We uh, never grew up together, <laughs> sir. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Starting off. <laughs> and uh, have Cheetah Will view. I was just uh, on that podcast uh, the other day. Thank you for joining in. Thank you so much. I had a good time on your podcast. Uh, movie fan. Hey, Steve and everyone. Hello. Hello. Thank That's you for tonight. tuning in. Yeah, actually got a good uh, good chat. Aaron Johnson, he was uh, on set as well for the final day of, of right. shooting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mark Decker again says yes, sir. Yes, so he is the <laughs> nephew, I believe, of Toby Hooper. We got mad love for you, Chris. <laughs> and the Drayton Sawyer is also in the chat. Thank you all for tuning in. So I give you the, the cast of the Sawyer Massacre, not the whole cast, obviously, but uh, <laughs> a good bunch of the cast. It's kind of our our main young cast uh, of, of the film. And uh, let's, uh, yeah, let's go around lives. and just... Uh, oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> everybody, yeah. <laughs> let's ask you guys in the chat, do any of these people in this 
chat tonight, Liv, other than me, obviously, because I'm the director. Do they make it through the they film? I don't know if you don't cameo or not. <laughs> I don't. I've told them. I've, I've oh, okay. told people many times I'm not, I'm not cameoing in this film. And I don't. I don't, unless there's a reflection of me somewhere it. that I don't know yeah. about, which, that, which I mean, has happened before. Technology. <laughs> these days. Charlie is yeah. a Charlie question. <laughs> Charlie. <Yeah. Okay. laughs> Where's Charlie? <laughs> but let's but go around uh let's go around yeah here we're going around here, everybody how they oh, got Steve's involved in the like film. cutting out a little bit like the, his audio is cutting out a little oh is it we am i cutting fine, out dude? for you guys yeah. i sound fine on my end but i yeah you it might just be a problem sounds, with your, yeah everyone sounds good for me everything's monitor. good maybe yeah. i just have bad connection in my area so could be but it's like everything is like uh, uh, another uh, new chatter <laughs> Coffee and talk. I bet Jimmy, or, Jimmy might live. I bet is Jimmy, my, my, Jimmy might live. Jimmy is our protagonist. So live. maybe. 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 I don't know. I'm not going to spoil oh, it for Jimmy. you, but he might. <laughs> I, don't remember, I don't remember what happens to Jimmy, to be honest with you. I mean, didn't we shoot like a yeah. few? We shot maybe more than one ending, didn't we, Steve? I mean, I, it might be a Charlie question. I don't know, dude. <laughs> It all got hazy towards the end. Yeah, it's yeah, all been blurry. Well, uh, it was kind of blurry at the end. I don't know. It was. <laughs> all the lack of sleep. All yeah. The, all I can <laughs> say is we've got one ending cut. We've only oh, got okay. one ending okay. cut. I'll tell you that much. Right, right, right. Um, but whether we actually shot more than one ending, I don't know now. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Uh, but let's start with uh, we'll go around and talk to everybody and and uh, you just mentioned how you got involved in the film, how you came across the Sawyer Massacre, how long ago it was, all that wonderful stuff. Alicia, let's start with you. Sounds great. So I have no acting experience. Um, I modeled when I was younger. That was pretty much about it. And it was during the beginning of COVID. I just submitted myself online to a bunch of different auditions and he ended up emailing me saying, hey, um, here's a side. I want you to audition for this part for Lorraine. And um, I was like, all right, cool. Did it. And he said, you got it. You know, you I, I like the natural ability of you being able to cry. He was like, how would you feel if you took the spot? And I was like, uh, yeah, like, let's do this. So that was awesome and then COVID did a lot of delays we didn't get to film when we wanted to originally which was a bummer so two years later we actually got to film it and I was like wow what a rad experience like being a newbie in this industry I learned so much from not only every single one of you on the screen but just behind the scenes in front of like it was just it was probably one of the best life experiences I will ever experience in my life and honestly I'm like a junkie now I want more <laughs> so <laughs> I really want to meet more people and really get more creative in this type of work and I'm excited to see you know how that happens and how it plays out and I wouldn't have been able to do it without this project so thank you all because it's been, awesome. it's been it was fun it was definitely fun it was cold but it was fun <laughs> I don't know it, was, it was cold, cold. but it was I fun still can't get over how cold it was <laughs> oh god uh, Christian here <laughs> says uh, I think Alicia will survive oh so that's you an have interesting to see. thought yeah we'll have to see <laughs> we'll find out <laughs> you'll have to find hmm. out I know the answer to that and uh, Stephanie Diaz hey thank you for joining hey, in uh, as well. Okay, Nika, your your turn. You're on the spot. You were uh, you're the first person I cast for this film. Did you so cast you go me back before? Right away. Did you cast me before Scotty? Oh, I guess I, I was the, yeah, so. the very first person then. <laughs> like officially cast, I think yeah, I think you were the yeah. first official cast it. Yeah, person cast. So wow, I didn't tell even know us that. About so. that whole experience. Yeah, um, so I actually, when I first got involved with this project, it was just for the promotional trailer that we filmed all the way back in 2019 in the fall. So um, that was actually like my first film acting gig ever. Um, I had just like started with an agency and I'd done theater and stuff before, but it was like my first foray into film. Uh, and yeah, after filming that, um, a few months later, Steve uh, came back to me and he said, 
you know, if I'd be interested, he'd love for me to play Allison in the full film version. And of course I said, yes. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of how it came about for me. And I mean, pretty much everything Alicia said, I can reiterate. Um, I wasn't like totally new to film at the point that we started shooting. Like I'd done some other projects, but this was certainly like different than anything I've ever done before. And yeah, I mean, I was just surrounded by so many amazing, talented people that it was it was just incredible. Yeah. You'll have to tell us about some of those other projects you've done now. I mean, cool it's, it's nothing. We'll save nothing it for later. Major. <laughs> we'll save it for later. <laughs> nothing major, but yeah, it'd be cool to know. I'd like to know. <laughs> uh, Jordan yeah, Fortis, for sure. uh, tell us about yourself, to how you got involved in the project. How I got involved in the project? Um, mm-hmm. I believe it was just through Instagram and kind of just interacting with everybody on there, like on your page on the Sawyer uh, Massacre page. And then I had purchased just a, you know, a credit perk at first, you know, just a little $5 perk, just to have like trying to get, you know, name or credit, you know, since I'm also a newbie at this. And uh, then from there, things kind of just started going up because you and I, Steve, we started like contact, getting in contact with each other. And uh, you kind of wrote me in a little scene at first. Mm -hmm. And then eventually from there, you know, somebody dropped out of the project and somebody big. Yeah. I remember that. I kind of, I got I got to audition for his role, and that's how I ended up as you know one of the main cast members. But you know it's a and here you are, and you you blew it you blew it out of the water. That's all I can say. <laughs> so <laughs> we're very happy that we cast you. So and I yeah, think yeah, I think you got your name out. from. I... Sorry, What's my that? sound is cutting out. Did we lose somebody? Oh, okay. <laughs> I can still hear you fine. Um, I think I got your name from Michael Druck. If I believe that's who I first uh, heard about you from. Does it? Do any of you other guys know Michael Druck? Well, Jordan might, I guess. Uh, does he? I don't. Based yeah, on, talk to him. I think. Yeah, just this Jordan morning. Yeah. He's a great guy. Probably well, one thank of the top you, Michael. Directors yeah. in Texas. Yeah, great guy. He he thank actually you, donated. He donated to the. He's a casting director. He's one of two casting directors we work with. We worked with. Uh, Nico would know the other casting director, Angela Quinn. Right, you know Angel mm-hmm. Quinn, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so yeah, both of those Angela. casting directors basically help help me uh, get you guys. <laughs> and uh, thank you, Michael Druck, because he actually donated uh, an acting lesson to the campaign, and somebody got that. So uh, very nice of him to do that. Just want to say shout out to Michael Druck. Jordan, how about you tell us how you got involved? Jordan O'Neill now this time. Oh man, yeah, we're gonna have to time travel here a second. I think. Oh well, here's the thing. I know <laughs> that it, it stuck out in my mind because I don't get a lot of uh, narrative auditions from my agency here in Texas. It's just um, we have a lot of commercial work and far less narrative work two years ago than we have now. So I remember it came through them, and I want to say, Steve, you can help me out here with the dates. It was probably August 2020 which means the premiere is going to be almost two years to the date of when I first heard about it. I think it was that long ago because I remember been. it being it interesting that I, there were no callbacks. I just sent the tape in and I had no less than three other guys I knew from like class or just, you know, in town who also had the same audition. So I was like, oh man, there's, you know, the, the odds are getting slimmer and slimmer and slimmer. And you, you just, you send these things off and you forget about them. And I don't oh, yeah. remember the turnaround <laughs> time exactly, but it, I think you were just, it was pretty quick. I want to say that you sent me the email that was like, you know, it's yours if you want it. And I'm like, great, but we're in the I middle didn't of a get pandemic. A lot of and you said, for the role, if, if I'm being you honest. Didn't, so you did. <laughs> you didn't? No, I did. It was you and one other guy. You and a guy by the name of Scott James, <laughs> who was also okay, very good, well, by the way. He had no, a great audition. And I had a hard time going between the two of you. If I if I oh, you're, you're it was saying tough, I was like down. looking at yours. What's yeah, that? I got you. Man, I don't. You, you're saying it was narrowed down to me, right? 
it was not, not the only two no, that said stuff. I, I got, those were the only auditions we got. Uh, oh, well, and your your agency was the only <laughs> your your agency was the only agency that actually contacted me back. I reached out to I think four different agencies in in Austin. Well, and, yeah, your uh, question yeah, was that fifty fifty shot that I was going to get the role, <laughs> and uh... it was. And you know how you won me over? I think it was your eyes. Yeah, your eyes had this certain thing I was looking. Sad for. boy, Jimmy. Uh, <laughs> Kind of, yeah. 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 Kind I got of the dude headlight look. look. Yeah. So that's just a good thing, I guess, for expressing yourself. But man, when you are projected on a screen that's two stories high and you're lying, everybody and their mother is going to know. Like, they, this guy, this face is not a poker face. Like, we got to tell the truth. But what, I think what surprised me the most was the turnaround time. That Oh, what's up, Jake? Uh, it's a new guy I've worked with in Dallas. Glad he's here in the chat. Uh, what hey, surprised Jake. me was the turnaround time, Steve, because I remember like thinking, okay, it's August 2020 at the time. We're in the middle of this pandemic. How are we going to do this thing? But you said, don't worry, we're going to shoot this thing in August 2021. And, you know, that didn't happen, unfortunately. But I think it was to the benefit because, man, you you guys will know. You'll mm -hmm. learn when you come back for the premiere. It's hot now, but Texas is just brutal in August and in September months. It's brutal. So, you know, we're doing the red carpet event at the premiere. Yeah. But, you know, uh, bring deodorant for those of you coming out of town, you know, and bring, you know, cooling <laughs> items maybe it's to wear. Uh but yeah, I, it's it's kind of a blur, the fact that it was a year and a half between auditioning and production, and I am forever grateful that you know the project didn't fall through the cracks as you know these things do. I, I tell people, yeah, I've been cast in fifteen Me feature too. films, about five that got made. Uh, oh wow! Because I got to meet you guys, and that's yeah. really what I've taken forward. Yeah. I mean, we are sometimes. Yeah, sometimes you're lucky. Five <laughs> out of Seven out of ten. Not that bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There you go. Uh, so anybody else in the chat oh Christian's asking where's Scotty well we got, we only had so much room tonight I've had Scotty I've chatted with Scotty a million times he's been on a million he's podcasts. behind you I'm sure we'll have him on soon yeah. <laughs> we'll have him on soon these are this is the uh, the good guys that are on tonight <laughs> it, depending on how you look at it of at least you just said we're all right. it is kind of all pointed right. yeah <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> some some of them may get killed in the film. We don't know. I don't think any of us do. <laughs> no. I'm sure you guys. You think you think you all get away, right? No, nope. we all get by. Maybe Leatherface the ones who die. Oh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, the movie's so yeah. The movie's, so, yeah, he's spoiler, the movie's about in a minutes prequel. Long. Yeah, and, um, <laughs> credits start rolling 15 minutes later. Yeah, it's a great part one, you know. Yeah, Actually, you're pretty close to picture lock, and I have a pretty, I have a pretty good estimate on uh, how long the film is going to be. It's uh, roughly going to be 90 minutes before credits, so it's a uh, pretty, pretty decent that's, length. That's actually a lot We're longer. Very, than Very, very close. Yeah, to especially for a Texas Chainsaw. Dude, that's two weeks yeah. for filming this movie longer better be 90 too. minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it just, will be. I It'll knew definitely that. Be ninety minutes. <laughs> uh, so, Briley, it's your turn. You're the last one. I think you were are pretty much the last one to be cast as well. Oh, you and Jordan. You well, I think you were the last one to be cast. Yeah, <laughs> the best for last. Take the, the best, best for last. All right. <laughs> Come on, all right. Without my two Jordans, I wouldn't have been nothing, and you two as well. Bunyan. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, Steve, He's still yeah, supporting I'm, that. Texas accent there, dude. <laughs> oh, it comes out every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> I can't help it, man. I was surrounded by you guys. Coast. <laughs> I'm like, I'm from Seattle and I get down here, you know, and I'm like, man, I'm gonna go back as a whole new person. Yeah, work. <laughs> yeah, y'all. <laughs> but uh no, Steve, uh, he reached out to me on I want to say Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. Uh, months, months yeah. back. Uh, I think last, I want to say October, Steve, is when I got cast as Gene. Um, but That's Steve right. connected That's with me. Right. Yeah, Steve connected with me. And uh, he was wondering if I wanted to get on board with the Sawyer Massacre. And I said, uh, yeah, sure. And um, he sent me the sides to read for Gene. And I got back to him. I auditioned for it. I did my little Southern mud boy type, you know, accent. And it worked. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. The rest is history. Still I'm, it. All... I'm still hearing it. That's why. <laughs> yeah. well, it's been, it's been complicated because there's been other roles since, and it's like sometimes it, it'll still come out a little bit. I'm like, that's not going to work for this. So, 
<laughs> hey. Um, be careful. But Interior I don't know. City. Hey, y'all. Oh, okay. Yeah, hey, y'all. <laughs> uh, exactly. And oddly enough, the, the, the two of you that are actually living in Texas probably sound like you have the least accent, uh, at, least, uh, at least when I watch the footage back and watch the cut. Uh, okay. The two Jordans who are actually from Texas have the least yeah, accent. <laughs> Nikki, you did a great, uh, great accent. Alicia, you have a very Thank natural you. southern accent because you're from <laughs> I am southern. Yeah. <laughs> Nika, what cracked me up the most with Nika was like, I really need to practice on my southern parts. I was like, look, I was like, you're either it's either gonna be like super drawn out or it's gonna be super simple. Don't worry about it too much. Like, how did that? How did that sound? I'm like, it sounded great. <laughs> I was so nervous. yeah, it actually, it sounded great. Though, you really I think there's a good great. contrast, actually, with all your the way you guys talk. You did great mm -hmm. with the accent. You. you did a really good still. job. Honestly, between like Briley, Nika, and Alicia, no one's gonna believe that I am from Texas in the movie, <laughs> and I've lived here my entire yeah. life. <laughs> Probably. I will. I mean, I will say that you and Fortes do not have a strong accent. Like it, it it's so crazy. Like me, I have a strong mm -hmm. accent. You could tell I'm Wait, from what? the south, but you two. <laughs> You can't tell. Uh uh. Absolutely not. To be fair, I feel like most people I met on the crew as well that were from Texas didn't have super strong accents. So, yeah, yeah it's interesting. To, Texas is too big. You have to go like to yeah. East Texas, where it's East Texas is the only place where you'll ever hear someone like a crime will happen and someone will go, Oh my God, call the law. Somebody call the law. <laughs> I've never heard that in my life. Call the law. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. My problem is I have too many accents. So, he does. True. You're a man of many talents. Yeah. Many voices. Mm hmm. There you I want to hear what he's saying. He has a different uh... accent. Another spoiler. He has a different accent in each scene, and we don't ever call attention <laughs> to it. No one talks about it. No, nah, we got to hear. We got to hear Captain Jack Sparrow, though. We got to. Yes. Uh, so we hate to put you on the spot, Jack Jordan, Sparrow. but you got to do it. With the whole crew. <laughs> yep. I miss each and every one of you. <laughs> and I can't wait until we're all together again. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? Love, them. <laughs> love great. it. Love it. We will all get together. And, and then there's your Christopher Walken as well, I remember. That was great. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Christopher Walken. Yeah. You know, your leather face. <laughs> You're doing my boy all wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love it, man. Times. God, I miss y'all. I miss y'all so much. <laughs> All right, let's talk about some fun times on set. Uh, of course, I wasn't really a part of my, many of the fun times because I was just so buried in all the uh, uh, the tough stuff. <laughs> <laughs> the director's Yeah, and just trying to figure out how to make stuff work. <laughs> Which that was, was really a difficult challenge. on this. Um, note, note to self: travel to locations ahead of time to make sure that they work with your script. Uh, but we <laughs> made them work. Uh, we found a way, didn't we? Didn't we? <laughs> and that's just one thing it I had issues with. But uh, yeah, exactly. Uh, I'll say this: though, it was much colder than I thought it was going to be. Uh, let's go to the boys from Texas to talk about the weather in Texas and. And thank you for the uh, preparation. Let me know that it was going to be freezing, especially the first day of filming. I'll never forget the first day. I was like, when is it going to heat up here? Uh, <laughs> it never oh. did that day at all. Like, it was cold the whole, whole day. Is this common for Texas? Is it? Is it? Uh, we didn't see any snow or anything, but uh, I don't know. I, I expected hotter than that. I'm going to well, be honest, Steve. It's hot I think right now. We... I think we brought the cold weather from Canada. I, I think y'all did too. To yeah. Y'all came down the two weeks when it was supposed to be the coldest. The, the two weeks of filming. I'm like, whoa. And then when y'all left and we were done, it was hot again. I was like. Uh, the, the day we oh left, God. I know you guys had a bunch of tornadoes. Uh, Jordan yep. uh, O'Neill would probably know about the tornadoes that were happening because that was more your yeah, area. Jordan, so, uh, I know you're north the house that we were at in the middle of, I can't remember the town. I think it's sort of the beach. Bartlett? I'm not sure that. Yeah, Bartlett. Thank you. I don't know if Bartlett. that house is still there, bro. I'm not going to lie to you. I don't know. 
how I'm hard interested they got to see. Hit. You know, uh, I haven't made my way out there, but it gets cold here about January and February of the last few years. Like Texas has been known to have those notorious freezes the last two years, but that was what March. That was very yeah. uncommon. I mean, we lost a day of filming time. because of the cold, right? We lost the whole day not? of filming. Yeah, yeah. No, I was, was pretty heartbroken about that. I, I, I yeah, that was, that was something. Else. I think you, I think Nick is right. I think you guys brought it because it was. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. the only explanation I got. But yeah, it's, it's brutal hurt. right now. It's it's hot. Like, I feel you, Jack. I go running. Hot like, Louisiana too. Jack Strunk is in tough Texas. It's hot as. <laughs> it's hot as fuck here in Texas. He said. <laughs> right oh, no. Whereabouts in Texas are you from, Jack? Yeah, but there's a saying about the weather in Texas. Right you don't now. like it? Wait five minutes. <laughs> I was waiting that first day, and it never warmed up. Uh, I thought I was in <laughs> the Pacific Northwest when I got down there. I was like, wait a second. I feel sure. bad for you guys. I really I was, did. I y'all thought y'all were going to get this summer vacation. And y'all got yeah. this total freaking up. <laughs> dripping down our face. Nope. No, I was, I was not prepared for that first day. I think like by the time we were done, especially because we were like wearing summer clothes, by the time we were done, I was like numb from the cold. It was not not a good time, but mm. it was still fun because you guys were there. <laughs> There's that bonding. It probably kind of kind of reminded you of the. Honestly, I think it was colder. I think it was colder in 2019. I think it was colder than when we filmed the promotional oh, trailer, or like the same. <laughs> yeah. God, I can't remember. Yeah, I don't know. It's I think it was colder. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember it being cold. I remember windy. it being really cold. Yes. I remember I met Bucky yeah, looking for thermals for people. That's how cold it was. <laughs> <laughs> there was no thermals in Walmart. And next thing you know, I'm at Bucky's looking for thermals. None in there either. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to remember shot that first day. Oh no, I remember. That was like one of my favorite scenes, probably actually the first day. So yeah, uh, the wind. Yeah, George, George yeah. was right. That wind. That wind was yeah. something else, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there was no point to style any of our hair. We were filming by the car. It was just constantly blowing, like the whole yeah. time we were trying to film. Yeah, that was the only day we had a lot of wind. Ortiz, man. Just, <laughs> just, uh, just, you know. <laughs> we can't all have phenomenal hair like you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> True that. Yeah. True that. Or Nika. Nika's got yeah. I know. Nika's yeah. hair is amazing. Yeah. And you know what? This girl doesn't use any products. She just uses I know. The conditioner. That's it. Wow. That's it. How? I mean, yeah. it, it doesn't Maybe always conditioner. Okay. Brian, must be I'm, nice. I'm just glad you decided to keep the longer hair. And <laughs> oh, me too. Cut it all short. That's like good, dude. Well, that, you could thank my manager for good. that one. Good. <laughs> good. Because go. I was about to buzz cut it, and she was like, no. 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 <laughs> Alexi, if you're watching this right now, thank you for making me keep my hair. (laughs) Thank you, Brian. Okay, let's go around. (laughs) Oh, were you going to say something, Alicia? Oh, no. I already said it. We're good. (laughs) Let's go around. Everybody uh, share their favorite memory of of being on set. Starting with, well, whoever wants to go first. (laughs) Nobody wants to go first. Alicia, you're on. (laughs) a lot I'm thinking god that's a that's a hard one steve your favorite moment on set or just name a few favorite m- moments i don't know nika might know <laughs> offhand before i do well i've actually i've been thinking about this question all day because i thought it might oh be- shit <laughs> <laughs> prepared but i i mean it is really hard to choose just one um i mean they all kind of blend together in my brain and also honestly like every moment on set getting to know the cast and crew because we just had like the greatest group of people that was really like what made it amazing was, you know, the people that we were with. And I think for me, like the last few days were like the best. Um, I feel like we did the most fun scenes. And also we were all like really close by that point and also really exhausted. So everything that was funny just became like 10 times funnier. Um, I, I mean, like the last day really stands out in my mind, even though Alicia, you weren't there. We wished you were there. But um, yeah, it was just like. You know, we were in that final stretch. Um, yeah, it was just, it was really fun. And I mean, that was my favorite day for filming as well, the scenes that we did. So, yeah, not a specific moment. They're pretty but powerful kind of scenes, moment. I'll say that. Very, very powerful scenes, I'll just say that. Uh, looking at them, 
in the final cut those scenes that we shot the final day are really like outstanding so i'll just say that <laughs> oh, i'm so excited uh, i'm nervous go. and excited to see it <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I don't know how I, I remember the, the final day and straight. thinking to myself, what's that, Jordan? I don't know how I feel about seeing myself on a big screen. It's pretty nerve wracking. Yeah. Same. Same. About. Well, it's coming. <laughs> uh, what was I going to say? I, ha I had a point and now I forgot. Oh, the final day. I remember feeling very tired at the end of the final day and feeling like, I wonder if we really got everything. <laughs> had that sort of <laughs> feeling in my. Because I know we didn't get a lot because uh, we had to make a lot of changes due to um, certain things, which would take me. But too I long think y'all really handled into, those. But... but Steve, I think y'all handled those changes amazingly, though. Like y'all really we did, did pretty the best good. that y'all could do for oh, the yeah. circumstances. But at the time, we were under. at the time, Alicia, I was like, "Oh boy, I don't really know if we have this thing in the bag. If we, I think there's going to be." stuff missing yeah. that needs to be there and and you know i looked at the cut i was always worried when 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 charlie was cutting the film that i was going to see certain scenes and be like this is going to not work together too well and yeah. surprise and a couple scenes that are like uh you know but uh overall i'm i, I can't really be too upset about um about anything because it does work it definitely does work uh who else has a favorite anecdote or story to tell from set without spoiling the movie shoot are you, are you one of the boys you guys want to go i mean we got some memories for sure <laughs> which memories do I, we i'm share? trying to think of ones we can share on a string <laughs> right yeah yeah <laughs> oh, um, i would say Honestly, just like the behind the scenes, like laughs we had because we we're all so sleep deprived. I mean, <laughs> um, to the point to where it was like method acting, like we were truly like method. And I would just say like the laughs is what got us through it. And just like even if we only had five to ten minutes, like we would always find time to like just have our own little thing, whether it was like doing like impressions or um you know planning for what we're gonna do after the day after work's done um i think uh yeah i mean and then going back to the airbnbs or whatever and eating like food like that was really special to me for sure all the special yeah. family dinner was Absolutely. always fun <laughs> the food was interesting down there for me <laughs> had a lot of barbecue <laughs> Yeah, lots okay. of barbecue. Oh my Steve, god! I think you yeah. ate enough brisket to get you through a lifetime. Imagine, <laughs> I felt like oh everywhere god. we went, they offered brisket. Steve, imagine me as a vegan in Texas, oh in rural god. Texas. Oh, yeah. oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just say what the heck's a vegan? <laughs> <laughs> well, what's that now? <laughs> Honestly, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> Not. I, don't know. I think my. Easy. I had, a, I had a favorite day. The favorite day I had was actually the first day on set. Even though it was freezing cold, we all didn't really know each other that well still. So, you know, first day on set came. I enjoyed it a lot on the first day because I stayed outside. Nika's like, you can come in here and sit, you know, like in the airstream. <laughs> like, it's cold out there. And I'm like, no, like, I'm just so fascinated seeing Steve do his thing, seeing Charlie do his thing, seeing Ben and Kyle do their thing. And I didn't even know like Charlie that well. I didn't know Kyle that well. I didn't know Ben that well. And these people that I'm naming, they're not on the screen. They're actually are behind the, the crew the, with, you know, Steve, you know, they really are a big reason why this movie is happening. Not just, you know, your oh, actors yeah. and seeing that happen, seeing what happens behind the films. Yes, the actors are super important, but if you don't have a good sound guy, if you don't have a steady hand on your camera guy, I I, I noticed that it, it can really, really make or break your film. And I think that's why my first day was the favorite because I felt like I absorbed and just took in so much. And along the way, you know, I noticed Fortis, he walks through the door, you know, he's in the airstream, you know, and I was intimidated by Fortis. I was like, you know, that's a handsome looking fellow right there. I was like, I'm just going to okay. show him where to enter. And then Mika <laughs> and then O'Neill shows up towards the end of the shoot day. And then Briley, you know, we're over here cracking up. I locked my keys in my truck. Like, I mean, it was the first day was a lot. 
I remember that. It was so funny because I was so <laughs> nervous. Jordan Fortis, I was so nervous to meet you because you seem like you are very intimidating. But then, like, as you're a good you looking talking, guy, that's like, why. Well, and you just have, like, kind of, and also, like, your TikTok videos are intimidating, you know? But it's see, like, I didn't see his TikTok videos. I didn't even see those. So I didn't even know he was on TikTok. But yeah, you were just, now like, you, so, know. Oh. you were so nice when we met you. And I was like, oh, this isn't that bad, <laughs> you know? And that evening, you and I sat by the fire at Christine's house, and we chatted for a good bit. And I went, what in the hell was I so scared about? And Jordan goes, I thought so, too. I didn't want to say anything to you, either. I was like, <laughs> funny how that works. <laughs> what was I thinking? Oh, God. Yeah, I was pretty, I guess I was pretty Let's, quiet the first day, just because I wasn't, you know, too sure, like, how it was going to be. Like I said, it was, like, my first time being on a... I guess a like a film set that actually had like a, a decent sized budget and everything, you know. Same. And actors from all different parts, <laughs> uh, you know, of the world, yeah. you know, country. So, but yeah, once I got to talking to everybody, like it, my nerves calmed down. Like I was like, oh, the, everybody here is great, you know. You worked out. For sure. For sure. Absolutely. Wow, there you go. So uh, bootleg317 says, love that Merlo and Jordan O'Neill have Star Wars posters. Yeah, well, you know, who doesn't love Star Wars? I'm sure some people yeah, do. Yeah, there they are. <laughs> the only good. thing hung up around here. So I uh, he also asked if any of us ate head cheese. <laughs> I don't think I can do that because of my... I never ate head cheese. Not, not in <laughs> Texas. I don't know what Negative. head cheese is. Negative. <laughs> Like hog head cheese. You don't know what like head cheese head is. Head well, no, no, I really don't, man. No. Hog head I'm head I've heard of it. The but... original title. It was the original title for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was head cheese. Head cheese. Oh. Yeah. Like the Texas. Head head cheese, or just just head cheese. The Texas head chainsaw cheese. head cheese. Oh. No, <laughs> that's what we need. Okay. All right. Next, next movie. Massacre. Next the, movie. That's the original it. That's the title. Head cheese. The script that's was amazing. called head cheese. Yeah. Uh, and then they changed uh, then it was changed to stocking leatherface. And then at I the very end one. of post production like Toby show. Hooper came up with the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. <laughs> it does. That was oh it. Oh my gosh, it does. So there you go. That's interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah, interesting, I didn't know that. Interesting stuff there. Uh I'm Christine Alverson. Uh, I I'm guessing this was one of uh, her uh, favorite. Christine's favorite moments. So I think this was the day that we canceled. Oh, yeah. They were gathering and watching the original on a cold day. It was a damn cold day. I remember that. Yeah. So we yeah. all gathered in that. Uh... That was great. That was great, actually, when we all gathered that to watch fun. the original. Actually, I'm going to call out to people right now. Nika and Jordan O'Neill never saw that movie till they got casted wow. for these roles. Wait, I don't even no, think Jordan, Jordan O'Neill has seen it yet. He hasn't seen it. Jordan O'Neill still hasn't seen, seen the original. movie. <laughs> so I'm calling you out, buddy. I'm pulling a Brady Bunch. How Never dare you? saw the original movie. <laughs> Listen. I there's no to. such thing as bad saying. press. <laughs> 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 I haven't seen any of them, bro. No, we're, true. We're, now no, that it's done, you can't, use the ex- you can't use the excuse anymore. Well, I can't watch that movie to distract me from being Jimmy, right. so therefore... You're done yeah, being Jimmy for the moment. I've got so a little now you have to watch from the movie. So, yeah. Uh, you know, that's my it. kind of guy. Yeah. <laughs> Ultimate leather face. Look, <laughs> you know, I, I'm sure Halloween's hanging up film. on the wall. I just haven't had the time to. That's what we're. Wait, what are we talking about again? <laughs> no, I. Uh, no, I really. That, the original really text right. chainsaw. I, I haven't seen any of them. He took it literal. I literally haven't seen any of them. I mean, it's okay. Maybe, okay. maybe, maybe I'll change that you know. before the premiere. Maybe I will. But there was a reason not to watch it before this. Um, You're definitely you know. changing that. <laughs> okay. Well, there's a precedent. It, well, set here there, there, you say there is a reason that you didn't watch it before you, you watched uh, before you made the movie. Well, yeah, I'd like to absolutely. Know I would like to know. Oh, okay. <laughs> he's he's asking like he doesn't know. Uh, yeah. I mean, <clears throat> I'm sure like you can probably. Uh, just because uh, Fortis and Alicia, you guys said you're, you're a little new to this uh, thing. And Alicia, you know, has already been cast as the lead in a film that's coming up. Uh, but, you know, Brian and Nico will understand that, like, you, um, so this being a prequel to the original, uh, you know, our job as actors, I think it's never to 
um, I'm losing my words here to not, uh, mimic, but on, yeah, to mimic. Thank yeah. You. you don't want to mimic something. Yeah. There you go. Trying to get that word. You can't or over prep, over prep, yeah, or, over prep. You yeah. don't want to like, you know, just mimic something. Cause then what's the point? You're just regurgitating stuff that's already been done. Uh, and so I didn't know if there was say like a leading man or whatever in the original at all. Like I see, I've see, everybody seen the picture, you know, the girl in the pickup truck <laughs> with the, the blood all over, kind of like scream laughing or whatever. Like I know that much, but I didn't know that was the end of the film. And I just look, these guys that we played, they don't know they're in a horror movie. Right. Cause as soon as we play yeah. the, uh, it, like if, if you have a scene, right. And if you play the end of the scene where you're scared at the beginning, well, the jig is up. Right, then there's no mm-hmm. suspense for anybody watching, and like in my opinion, the scene dies. There's no point. So, I, that was my reason for not watching any of the franchise, just because my job uh, was to portray Jimmy as a human being and a fully fledged, fleshed out guy versus just you know a teenager in a horror film or a slasher film. Mm-hmm. But I think that's. Like- <clears throat> Yeah, I think that's a that's an awesome approach. And I was kind of torn between doing that or watching the original, but um, I decided for me, just since, like, I, before this, like, I, I'd only watched maybe, like, one horror movie, and I just kind of wanted to get more of an idea of, like, the tone that we were going for. Um, and I still, like, I, you know, I was very conscious, like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be Sally, you know? I'm gonna be Allison, and I'm not gonna, very you true. know... So I, I tried to like stay away from that, but I also, for me personally, just kind of wanted to know what I was getting myself into a little bit. No, I feel That's that. good to know. Yeah. Uh, I'm still I thinking. My, uh, Forties, what was your favorite moment, man? Go for it. My favorite moment? I mean, kind of like what Riley was saying, it's hard to like, I, I do enjoy like how we were able to improv and do certain things for scenes. You know, stuff that necessarily, like, wasn't necessarily in the script. Um, I mean, that was fun to do, like, kind of brainstorming while we're, like, on set. But really, I feel like the most fun happened behind the scenes. Just, like, before takes, um, in the, you know, at the, by the Airstream, just hanging out outside talking in a group. You know, while, you know, other people were on set or, you know, just kind of going like back and forth, you know, like cracking up. And then all of a sudden, you know, when the cameras are all, we just kind of snapped, you know, back into it. And uh, being able to like go out and actually hang out with you guys, like, like offset, you know, all that stuff was really. Yeah, we definitely got close. That's memories. We all got close. For sure. The connection and bond was like pretty, pretty easy for all of us, I feel. Yeah. It seemed like it yeah. from what I can see. Because <laughs> I got out with, you know, <laughs> you know most, most of the time right. when I was not directing, I was with Charlie going over on how, how the heck we're going to do stuff. But, <laughs> you know, uh, but it did seem like you guys were all getting along. And I felt like that was important. I was like super happy that everybody on set was basically getting along and becoming friends and because you never know because sometimes you know actors work with each other and it's like nope can't work with that person again <laughs> it happens i mean so that's always that was a that was a bit of a fear i had you know like how are well are these actors going to work with each other it's happened yeah. on set with me before so i'm sure it's happened to you guys at some point too you work with somebody that you wish you hadn't and uh oh yeah so it was <laughs> it was a relief <laughs> It was a relief that I felt. I felt like I could always count on you guys. I didn't really have to prep you guys a lot, uh, you know, other than block you guys through scenes and stuff like that. But uh, for the most part, you guys understood the characters pretty well, and uh, and uh, you know, became on set friends. And I think that uh, it showed. It definitely showed. We definitely made a lifelong friends. I'll tell you that. Yeah. For sure. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you said all that, Steve, because that actually helped me pick out my favorite moment just now. Because we, we, we keep talking, you know, like, I love that Airbnb where we're at, out of town, like we're all, you know, just cutting up and like Jordan Fortis and Man of a Thousand Voices. Is, 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 I mean, I think I was literally on the floor at one point just laughing. So, 
but <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was, yeah. So many laps. Oh my gosh. But I think, I mean, Alicia just talked about the first day, and this is a uh, my favorite moment. It wasn't the first day, and this is not to say that, like, you know, I love all you guys, right? Like, we all, I think, everybody got to have their moment with each other in the whether it was a. Uh, in front of the camera or behind the camera. But like you were saying, Steve, sometimes it's not so much that you don't like somebody or you can't work with somebody, but you just don't know sometimes going in. <clears throat> and with film, um, being so different from theater, where you do not have the luxury of rehearsal often. And I mean, let's be honest, Steve, there were some scenes, you know, you didn't have time to direct us beforehand. You kind of had to be like, all right, I'm just going to like point them to where they go and we're going to get out of the way and let's hope we can get it done. But it was my... Um, <laughs> <laughs> probably my first scene on day one I showed up I think I was probably I showed up halfway through the day probably and this we were a little late getting you I, I, <laughs> that's okay I think and this isn't spoiling anything but there's a dynamic you know like where uh, the three gentlemen here at the bottom our characters are all friends right and the two ladies they're friends prior to these groups meeting and it's pretty well established at least my interpretation of the script was that Jimmy and I'm pointing the right direction, yeah. Gene, played by Mr. Bryman over here, are like those are like those are the best friends, right? Those guys are kind of like they're probably like best buddies since kindergarten type thing. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I'm not kidding, man. I knew Briley for maybe 15, no, probably 10 minutes before we do <laughs> our first scene because we're talking while we're picking out our wardrobe, which is going to be the wardrobe for the entire film. And wondering how is this going to be? And I've never met Bradley. We were supposed to hang out the night before. I dropped the ball because I had something come up. We couldn't do it. And I remember just that first scene. And it's one of my favorite scenes that I mentioned before. I'm not going to say what the scene is or when it takes place in the film. Mm -hmm. But I think it really establishes Gene and Jimmy's dynamic in a relationship. And by the end of the scene, me and this guy I've known for five minutes – are in tears practically. Yeah. We did that to each other. Yeah. And that has never, I'm telling you, it's never happened to me. And I have, I'm not like, you know, I've been doing this for 20 years, whatever, but you know, I've done, you know, student shorts, plethora of those, you know, here in town and, you know, done some features and that stuff, even in like acting class, that's never happened. And I don't know what it was, man, but I felt like, this just sounds so corny, but that was like a true movie magic moment for me. And so I can't wait to see that scene. And, you know, Riley, that's I love that you scene. Just, oh, no. Uh, I, I, I want to talk about that scene too. very briefly, too. I want to talk about this scene very briefly because uh, I had a. Re I'm not going to tell anybody what the context of the scene is or anything like that, but it's between Jordan O'Neill and Riley Michael Bell. And originally, I did want it kind of done in like one or two shots. I was originally planning two shots. And, you know, uh, I said to our DP, I don't know if we can do this in two shots because there's so much modern stuff in, in if we change directions and all this stuff. And he's like, no, we, ha we have to pull this off in one shot. So it was all one take. It was all one take of you guys. And you're like walking and talking, and you know, so you guys had to be on point. And for you guys, to, your first day on set, having known each other for 15 minutes, and to do this scene in one shot was fantastic. It, it was something that, to me, that ensured that I had the right people for these roles, because you guys were so connected. You, you, it was amazing. It was amazing to see. It's amazing to still watch that in play out. I can't believe we did that all in one shot. I'll just say that I still can't believe it was all one shot. But uh, I will. I will piggyback off of that really scene well. that day. Like after, um, like when you talked about how well, like we all clicked and stuff first day. Right. So after, you know, Jordan O'Neill and Briley finished up that scene, you know, there was like this brief moment where we all, all of us main cast had to be shot together. And I remember all five of us standing on the side of the building. We don't even know each other that well. Like, you know, just cracking up. And it's like we've been best friends like our whole life. And we just picked up where we left off on. Like, I remember that now. And now that Steve mentioned that when he said that connection that you and like that Jordan and Briley had. I'm going to say the minute that we were all told to stand there and to walk to our spot and go back. That minute we were all there, I think we all in our own way kind of were kind of was like, 
hey, I'm cool. You're cool. Awesome. We're all cool. Awesome. We're one big family now. And it just <laughs> it, it went from there. And it was a really big icebreaker because that was the first time we were all there together at once. And we had all been there at different times of the day. So towards the end of the day, everybody was there together. It was like a reunion and we were all met for the first time. And it was so that's that's a feeling that I'll never forget. Just instant acceptance, instant you know connection that's that's when you know that's when you know that you're with a good group of people you feel it on the inside and no one has to validate that for you that's the best part i agree i'm looking forward to seeing you guys all at the premiere at least i hope most uh, i I know some of you might not be able to make it i hope hope we do we get most of you guys at least and uh let's talk about the premiere a little bit here it's uh coming together uh jordan o'neill thank you so much for uh i guess you and kyle who's also in the chat hey kyle we'll just put his last comment on there there you go (laughs) (laughs) Uh, why not eh i can hear Uh, his voice in my head uh, right now yeah the accent is my brain won't go in yeah hey kyle's got a thick southern (laughs) accent yeah, Southern Hemisphere. A totally <laughs> hyper Southern Southern Hemisphere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the premiere is happening on August 26th uh, in Austin at uh, the Austin Film School. It's going to be really awesome. I and mean, you and Kyle have uh, helped us get some sponsors. I really, really appreciate that. I haven't had time to reach out to m- many people because I'm, you know working on the movie and trying to trying to promote an indiegogo page and everything like that and, and, and so i really dad, appreciate honest, you guys uh, like, you're busy and, and i'm a dad uh, it, it's it's a yeah. number of things i'm trying to balance the whole family thing and all this stuff and both and, your kids uh, are under I love the it all. age of five <laughs> <laughs> yeah well my my daughter's five now my daughter's five no, she's going dude, time has flown to, by i know we just took her to uh uh, school orientation kindergarten orientation today in fact so isn't that interesting but uh, i want to pre i appreciate you guys i'm going to see if i can get our sponsors up on the screen here let me I probably yeah, please. probably is going to cover three right now hopefully there'll be a couple more okay. so yeah this is the first no, that's only sponsor. showing in my thing no but How we got i, I can make see it, it. Hey, ah, there there it is. Go. you can see oh there, there we go. go there we go as long as we can hear everybody yeah, they are. Uh, yeah, this is yeah, that's the one. Uh, Jordan, tell us. Yeah, this is uh, Kyle that got or, this one. Uh, This was me. Kyle, so Kyle uh, has been in charge of securing the venue and more of the, um, I guess, bureaucratic stuff. I've been the one doing the outreach to, I've reached out to some media outlets as well. Then when you're back and hopefully a food sponsor within the next couple of weeks. But this is the first sponsor to hit us back. This is Desert Door Distillery and they make what's called Texas Sotol. And Sotol is a type of, liquor that is similar to mezcal or tequila but it's just made with a different plant than agave and they have been very generous and have agreed to donate an entire case to our event for that evening awesome Ooh, how about thank that you. that's so pretty much. awesome thank yeah. you so much desert door distillery texas sotal i'm i'm, I'm interested but yeah same i've too. never had the pleasure of trying it but sure. yeah they, uh, they <laughs> were just gracious sponsor here yeah, this would be still awesome. Austin Whiskey Company. Uh, it's a company that I've seen that I drive to my you know part time job. Besides acting, I see their billboard every day, and they've kind of leaned into the idea of you know we're coming out of the pandemic, and they are still Austin. Uh, they, <laughs> they lasted, you know. They make a quality they uh, make a quality bourbon, and they've agreed to not only supply us with some bourbon for the evening, but they will also have their own table and a bartender there to talk about their products they make gin as well but they decided that you know for this type of event bourbon was probably more on theme for us and yeah they're gonna have a big presence there that evening and i can't wait for them to you know get to talk to us more about their product and they might even be donating maybe a bottle that we might raffle off so if you haven't bought your tickets to the event here's another incentive to come to the premiere Ooh. Ooh. And you can get your premiere tickets on our Indiegogo page, which uh, link to that is in the description. If you're in the Texas area, uh, especially Central Texas area, you gotta come. You gotta come. It's gonna be uh, an awesome event. You'll see the you'll see our, our film before anyone else, and you know 
uh, get to meet some of the cast and crew, which uh, hopefully most of the cast and crew will be there. But uh, I, I know not everybody's going to be able to make it. But And our third sponsor, of course, uh, Kyle hooked us up with uh, Austin Cine- Cinemaker Space, Austin School of Film. Uh, thank you, Kyle, for doing that. Uh, we're looking forward. That's where we're going to be having the premiere. It, so should be a thank you so much, Kyle. Yeah, man. I don't know what else to say. Good. I've never been there, so I heard it's good. <laughs> so, yeah, Kyle and I are going to do a walk a fair amount of within a week, and uh, just to talk to the sponsors about setting tables up. So it seems like they've been more than uh, generous with their time and space. So I think it's probably we were meant to play at this venue. I think. I agree. I definitely agree. Very, very, very much looking forward to it. And I just want to share before I go back to our normal thing. I made made this collage today of all these wonderful photos of you guys uh, and some of the other people involved, of course. Uh, but uh, some behind the scenes stuff, uh, some stuff <laughs> on set. And, yeah, you know, I thought it was pretty cool. You, we had a lot of fun. You guys can reminisce. Uh, if if you guys were having trouble finding good memories. This collage of photos <laughs> should probably help you. Uh, I want to thank the time you everybody. Nico was it. moments away from being stung by a wasp. Yeah, the one yeah, right she up, did. Uh, she did get right stung. up in the corner. Yeah, right up in the yeah. corner there, you can see my exposed neck. Um, and apparently a wasp <laughs> saw it as well. Because literally, as soon as that picture was snapped, I got stung. So that was fun. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh, Jordan on the table, Jordan Fortes on the table in the bottom right. <laughs> It looked like he's having a ball, but I'm going to tell mm-hmm. y'all, I almost went running when I heard him screaming. I was like, oh my God. I was like, no. No. One of my favorite memories was just watching him and Briley <laughs> in this scene. Like just Dude, watching other people. Was that so scene inspiring. was so intense. So oh my yeah. God. I loved it. I loved it. Was like of it. Intense. Loved it was it. fun. Good times. Yeah. That was in we had a nice nap that we sure. shot in. in- <laughs> that we shot, yeah. <laughs> you weren't going anywhere. Uh, it was time, very sticky time. on that table. I'll tell you that. Well, you got tired of standing oh, up man. there. And he, that, yeah, he that was the Airbnb we, we got everywhere, that night, and that's what we had to do. <laughs> 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 and uh, Jordan took the only bed that was there. So I mean, Mr. Yeah, Jordan, Diva, thank you. Like that, Thanks you for know. taking the bed before we did. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yeah, let's talk about that basement a bit. That was a uh, that was a hell of a basement. Three days. It was man, tough for me to. I, I, yeah. Yeah. Three, yeah. Well, no, I took it back. We were only there for oh. two. Steve, you were there for three. Is that that's right? Yeah. I was there for three. Yeah. Some of you guys were there for three. Uh, maybe not. I was there for oh, three. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You guys I think were all there. T- I think Fortis and Bry came later because there was one day I didn't have any. Me and Nika didn't have any scenes one day, and I think I took mm-hmm. you to yeah, like the mid 20th day. century museum or something like that. Yeah. yeah. yeah no, Fortis. Yeah. No, Fortis came with us too on that. Yeah. 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 I don't know what day it was. It must have been a different day. All I can say is, by the time we left, that basement was. A work of art, let's say that. Oh, a work of art indeed. <laughs> Very abstract. Yes. Uh, apparently, Robert, yeah. who Robert, who uh, Robert Gill, who uh, who's basement, who owns the basement, he's kept it that way, and he he kind of wants to use it as like a, uh, I I don't a know something like, like something of other tourist attraction, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> and you know, for other horror filmmakers to film down there and stuff like that, he's left it pretty much the same, other than the floor, I think, which I don't blame him clean that floor at least but all the yeah. blood on the walls and stuff the handprints everywhere the chains i believe the chains were his to begin with i just um, hope no one has to go there to evacuate the neighborhood because they're gonna be like what <laughs> happened down here <laughs> don't worry yeah, yeah. not real it's not gonna but test i want to talk DNA. about uh, what i want to talk about with that basement is uh, i uh, like when i wrote the script i had no idea that basements were super rare in texas I had no idea, and I refused oh. to sac. I I refused to lose the basement. <laughs> Let's just say that. So it came to the point where uh, where I was having a hell of a time finding a ba- basement. But uh, Robert uh, reached out to me, and he's like, "I got a basement." I'm, I'm like, he showed me pictures of it, and it, it you know, I needed a basement that looked look like it could. I was like, I don't know if this is gonna work. <laughs> You know, I was looking at pictures out of it, and I thought to myself, well, "That's the only basement I got." And he said to me, uh, 
uh we'll do some work on it we'll get somebody to uh to uh make it over completely to suit your needs and uh man thank god they did uh because it turned out pretty good like it was tough to film in that basement uh Mm -hmm. but man it looks good it looks good on screen that's for sure it it really does look good i just i can't i can't say enough um i'm sure you guys have all seen i can't wait to see it like i'm stoked to see like all of y'all but me i don't want to see me but i'm ready to see every single one of y'all i'm so excited (laughs) Like I just want to get like a foam fan finger and just be like, yeah. Well, Alicia, I didn't tell you, but I think they cut you out of the film, so no problem. You know, good, work. perfect, <laughs> perfect, perfect. Oh, no. 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 So perfect. she lives. I mean, Alicia, live. Alicia, I know this is Alicia's first like acting job, but you will nobody in the audience will ever be able to guess. I mean, your crying scenes, like, oh my goodness, you made me like, <laughs> like jealous, but also just incredibly inspired at how yeah i still are. don't buy it i'm with you nika i don't buy it oh, i've never read yeah. in my life I yeah yeah I, well i, I remember getting alicia's uh uh alicia's resume through my email when she was auditioning and i almost i almost never emailed her back sides because i saw nothing but modeling on it i i, I just said there's no point in auditioning this gal she has no acting credits to her name and this is um, true. I had nothing. Uh, not a not yeah, even not nothing even on there. No what do you call plays. it? Uh what do you call the oh, people yeah. that uh Agent? extras? Okay. I didn't even oh. have any like any I didn't even have any extra work under my belt. Like nothing. Like when I tell y'all I was bored and wanted to do something different, I'm glad Steve sent me the sides. I am I'm glad oh, I did we are I don't so and glad. I don't know what came over not me. Not as glad as just... Steve probably is. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn right. Because uh, <laughs> I rem- I was I was having trouble casting the role of Lorraine. Uh, I was seeing some good auditions for a, and and some of them actually end up getting other roles in the film, but it wasn't feeling right for Lorraine. So I I just I don't know. I just I said okay, we'll we'll audition her. We'll see see what she can do. And uh, uh, she sent back her audition a few days later. And I just couldn't believe it. I showed it to the casting director I was working with here in Kelowna, Angela Quinn. And she's, and Angela said, cast this girl, cast her. And I'm like, I, so I'm not jaded here. I'm not just, you know, wearing rose colored glasses or something like that, you know, because, because uh, I was like, this, this gal's got it. She's, she's nailed the role. She, He's got the the role of Lorraine. I just want to interject for anybody watching. Casting directors never say that. They don't Mm -hmm. ever, ever just say, cast them. They say, keep them as an option. Mm -hmm. So that's how (laughs) big this is when they say that. I heard that a lot. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. It was was pretty, it was a great audition. We'll just say that. It shocked me because. It shocked me too. Alicia, she you had need no to send experience. Us. You need and to send us that. It was just one of those. I want to watch it. I don't even know if I have the original audition. Well, I still I have it on my computer. Be... I have. Steve, don't be completely honest. I have with you. all Steve, of your original auditions on my computer. Steve, bonus features. Start the scene with the audition tape, and then it just goes into the real thing. Oh my god! I'm gonna be really if honest all of, with y'all. If all of you are willing to let me put your uh, audition tape, we already signed the NDA on the on the Blu-ray. Yeah, I would love yeah. that. Jordan is Jordan's having a hard hard time connecting here. What's going on here? There he goes. Is it better? He's back. No, I'm not. We I'm lost not you there for a bit. I'm not gonna I lie, know. Steve. I was like, back like everybody it sounds better. Oh, I see. We had our we got our spam here too. I didn't realize it seems that. better now. Yeah, it seems like your connection and everything. Can better. you can you hear us, Jordan? Yeah. yeah, I can hear y'all. Like it's not like all echoey like yeah, it was earlier. Oh, awesome! Awesome. I'm not gonna lie though, Steve. When you sent earlier, me the huh? the audition sides, and it only had, I had one line in my audition. It wasn't even a full line. It was like two words. I was like, "What yeah. in the heck am I gonna do with this?" Like, what was the line? I have, I, tell you I have no this. idea. <laughs> what was the line? I never done this. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you guys why I, I'm gonna tell you guys why I sent. I sent. I, pretty much all of you had pretty short sides for auditions other yeah, than maybe I jordan o'neill had a uh, you know an, an okay length 
It was um, the scene that I did with. Violet, I'm very, very big yeah, on. I, I, had the, I had the same one. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was. It was like a page. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. page. Yeah. Yeah, it was, like two words. It was nice. a yeah, I had, two, I had two words as well. Dang, lucky. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? Was, lucky? Oh, no. lucky. Okay, two yeah, words. Was Holy God, what do I do? <laughs> no. Yeah, I never want uh, anyone well, to well, see my original one. I think I, I'm pretty sure I looked well, into the it. camera for the first. Oh, yeah, no. looked did. directly into the camera. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> the very first Wait. one. I can, can I share your <laughs> second Acting audition, one one. though, uh, Mika? Sure. You can, you can I made you share my second twice. when I actually, yeah, when I actually had, like, yeah. somewhat of an idea of what I was doing. Sure. Yeah. You can so go ahead and share mine. The reason why I do that is because, what's that? You can go ahead and share mine, too, if you want. Oh, thanks, man. It's just him doing this with the hair yeah. blowing. Yeah. <laughs> like the hair a little bit, shit. actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Fabio Fabio who? Fabian, whatever the hell that dude's name was on the album, on the Fabio. book, the romance. Fabio, yeah, whatever his name Bobby. was. He's like, he don't have anything on Jordan Fortes' hair, I'll tell you that. <laughs> like, even if Fortes dies <laughs> yeah. in the movie, I'm pretty sure his hair I lives. I totally forgot yeah. what I was talking about. <laughs> Yeah, if Jordan Ford dies, if Jordan Fortis hair. dies, his hair lives. Oh. His hair lives. Steve, on. I think you were I think you were gonna explain why you only gave us two words. So I oh yeah, yeah. Why oh, I yeah. Some short <laughs> dialogue auditions. Uh again, physical acting is super, super important to me. And I wanna see what uh I I, I typically do like to see what actors can do without a lot of dialogue. So, so I think I think that's important. I don't I don't think we uh I, I think it's overlooked sometimes the physical acting. How do you interpret yeah. one small line? What else are you going to do to wow somebody like me? And uh, yeah, I mean that's that that was needed for, definitely for those two roles of Allison and uh, and Lorraine. Not that it wasn't mm -hmm. needed at all for you guys, but I needed I needed your personalities. I think a little bit more to shine through rather than the screaming and the you know uh for your characters so i i don't know i was I a little bit uh i was a little different with uh with every audition with every side i was sending out but uh but a lot i found a lot of the uh a lot of the sides i needed i knew that i needed intense performances from uh were i kept very dialogue very low on the dialogue and you know high on the uh you know, reactionary type stuff, the physical acting. So, yeah, that's, and that's why you guys got the gig. I'll say that. <laughs> you guys got the gig because of that. So, there, there's our spam guys, Naked HDXYZ, cheaper, tender, even you can. Okay. I'll be back. Okay. You guys all see that? Uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm just going to oh. investigate, see what this is about. <laughs> uh, I get it on every. No, uh, I just wanted to compliment one. you on that, Steve. Because I mean, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, you know, look, guys, uh, we're all, we all know what genre this is. There's a dime a dozen horror films, and a lot of times, and I, this is no, I'm not no way knocking myself or Nika, but lead characters are sometimes the least interesting characters in films. You know, 100. Mean? Oh, yeah. You know, it's it's and that's fine because you have to have a POV character for the audience to latch on to, right? You've mm -hmm. got to like, but I mean, it's it's like in Aladdin, nobody's favorite character is Aladdin. You know what I mean? Like people like the tiger yeah. more than Aladdin. So I yeah. think that the job that Jordan Fortes and Briley and Alicia had, I mean, number one, you're in a horror movie. A lot of times, there's people are just monster fodder. Like you know, I'm surprised. I mean, in a normal in a bare bones horror movie, Alicia would be the blonde in the pink bikini, Brian would be the stoner and Fortes would be the, the football quarterback. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, those would be like the, the cabin in the woods, like joke characters. But I think that you fleshed out all of these. I mean, credit to Steve as the writer and director and you guys that you, I think the audience is going to care about everybody on the screen. Who's an actor. I hope so. I think that they're going to care about goal. every character. <laughs> well, I think you've accomplished oh, yeah. it. I mean, you know, I think edit or otherwise, so. and I think you guys I always, brought it. Always, so. I always worry because, you know, it's, it's easier said than done. Yeah. It's easier said than done, and I worry that some of my direction... Um... Um, you cut out really that whole... <laughs> <laughs> After What's direction... That? Yeah. Even now, he's like making it. a horror film. <laughs> What did you say, Steve? We didn't hear it. 
After direction, okay. you went silent. Yeah, I went totally silent. You guys all lost me. I don't know. Bad. We lost you know. after direction. <laughs> that was real. Said, like that was a real horror. My short term right memory sucks. So <laughs> that was a real. There you go. Uh, I was saying something, but I, but you know, I never know if execution is tough, especially when you have not a lot of money to to do it, and you're on a time limit, and uh, like we shot this in nine freaking days. I can't believe we shot this in nine freaking days. Now we lost Nika, didn't I we? I can. We're fucking beast. <laughs> yeah. Oops, I'm still sorry. here. I'm just standing up because my legs yeah. are going numb. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So oh, okay. no you're, you were right, though. You're right, though, Steve. It, it was very tough. Oh, good. Tough. We can hear you. It was very tough shooting it all was that tough. in nine days. Mm -hmm. It was very tough on everybody. So it's one thing everybody to write brutal. Yeah. It's, it's one thing to write good characters like that, but uh, quite often. Honestly, if you guys weren't the right people for these roles, uh, it could look look it could be a lot worse. You know, you guys could still the characters could still come off as those same generic type characters that we've seen a million times. Times like in horror films, but uh, very very well. Uh, I think that made a difference, and that's why we we're able to pull it off in such a short time period. Uh, Still can't believe we did it though. I really can't with all the obstacles we had. <laughs> I don't even know if yeah, you guys know every obstacle we really had. We had some major obstacles to overcome. Probably not. Hey, Michelle Velasquez joined in the chat as well. Somebody was very echoey there. Hey, Michelle. Michelle's making the third channel. Uh, I believe <laughs> yeah, Cody uh, Cody Willis is going to be working with uh, Michelle on that. Who was on our set? He was our props guy. You guys remember Cody, right? You take, yeah, Cody. You take care of that of man. Course. Of course, sure, I remember that man. Yeah. He's the guy that has me saying absolutely now so much. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I love Cody. Did you not? You, Cody. <laughs> absolutely. That is a saint. Cody Willis. That's the boy. Funyuns, bro. Funyuns. Yep. Funyuns. Hit him with the Funyuns, Funyuns. Cody. <laughs> At least Help you your boy Gene time on the road with Cody. Eh? <laughs> Oh, yeah. Me and Cody are bros. Dude, where's my car? <laughs> <laughs> Dare I ask? Uh, no, it's all good. Oh, God. What? <laughs> uh, I guess we could open it up to the uh, chat and uh, let them see see if they have any questions. Uh, Briley, I know you said you had to go early. Uh, just let me know if you have to go now. That's That's fine if you do. Uh, they got like joining 15 us minutes. If you do have to go, I got 15 minutes. 15 minutes. Okay. Yep. So if anybody has any questions for Briley, get them in now. Uh, let me go back in the chat and just see if we do have any questions. Let's just say hi to Miss Christ Christine Alverson. Again. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. There you go. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Guys. Chris. One out of one Christine's <laughs> has said. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they're the perfect sponsor for us. Absolutely <laughs> not. Uh, Mark Decker. Mark Decker uh, asks Alicia, yeah. where are you from? I'm uh, catching your accent. Um, Mark, I was born in Georgia and I was raised in Alabama. And now I live in Louisiana. So, <laughs> so everywhere. Well, Louisiana. Oh, yeah. So the South. Oh, the the South. South, pretty much. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Mark Decker's asking where we did our filming. Um, uh, the the most majority of our filming was in a small town just northeast of Austin called Bartlett. A very old, old town. A lot of old buildings there. Uh, that was the majority of where we filmed. Uh, we also filmed, our first day was in Taylor, not too far from there. I forgot about uh, that. Was at the gas station because we couldn't film at the actual gas station uh, in Bastrop. Although we were staying in Bastrop, but we couldn't film at the gas station in Bastrop because uh, they wouldn't let us. Um, but so we filmed that stuff in Taylor, their loss. which turned out pretty good. What's that? I said it's their loss. It is. Well, you yeah. know, <laughs> I understand. I you know I I get it. I'm not gonna rag on any on anyone for that, but. Uh, I always try to see their point of view, so I, I get it. But uh, it would have been nice to film at the original gas station, but we didn't. It was all good. Uh, we filmed all the well, basement we're make this stuff. This new one in... just as famous. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Probably. 
Probably. Um, we filmed all the basement stuff in Wharton, Texas, which is about, I don't know, was it 20 minutes from Houston, 20, 30 minutes from Houston, somewhere in there? Probably about, what, 45 minutes away? That's I'm not going to lie, man. I grew up in Houston. I had never heard of that place till we filmed that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel there like that's go. the case for most of the filming towns, so. though. 100%. Yeah. Oh, Mark's also asking, did you ever make it to the gas station in Bastrop, Texas? Yes, we did, because we were staying in Bastrop. I went there twice, ate barbecue there once. So that was fun. That was fun. Did, have any of you guys been to, did any of you guys get to go to the gas station in Bastrop while we were, while we were there? Some, I, most bro, of I ain't even there. seen the movie. Yeah, I didn't know <laughs> I didn't, it was there. Yeah, good old Jimmy wouldn't know about that. <laughs> Hey, we know good old Gene would though. Oh yeah, you you gotta know about the Gene machine, man. Oh. He can always he's always, there he is. he's always eating, man. You know, his, Gene's Letterman jacket says Gene machine on the back. Gene machine, you know yeah. Does. Yeah. Scariest moment. Uh, That's a good. One. Yeah, Ooh, Joe from Fangoria Faithful. Scariest moment while shooting. I bet everybody has a an different answer to this question. If you want to probably yeah, go around. Everyone. Yeah. I want to know Jordan Fortezes though, because he had a pretty scary moment with his uh with the filming of a certain part. Yeah. We can't spoil the movie for yeah, uh, but... Brian caught on to it. Brian caught on, he's like, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> you, you you talking about his love scene? Is that what you're talking yeah, about? Yeah, what which yeah. one was it? You've got a love scene. And they Where he was chugging movie. seven beers back to back? What was the one? <laughs> 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 First time to beat Gene at anything, man. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, I get, have a scariest moment while shooting? I, I have one, but Steve, you, you take the reins, man. <laughs> <laughs> You started the scariest slow. moment for me while shooting was the first day when <laughs> stuff was not going as planned. It was freezing cold. The transportation coordinator ghosted us. Uh, um, what else? Uh, one of the actors that we needed for the first scene was, was was pretty late, and we were having a hard time getting started just because of that. I apologized already. Uh, that wasn't you. That wasn't you. I'm not talking <laughs> about you. <laughs> And that wasn't your fault because the transportation coordinator ghosted us. Yeah. And so Scotty had to pick you up. So, uh, and uh, some of the production, some of the picture vehicles for the movie were nowhere to be seen. So we were ghosted by, uh, by, by at least, at least one, one vehicle. The night before, I went to pick up two of the vehicles with the production manager, and only one of them would run. So we were like, oh boy, we're down to three vehicles at this point. How am I going to write this with three vehicles? And then one of the one of the vehicles ghosted us on the first day of set. So we're down to two old classic cars. And I was thinking we were supposed to have five. There was supposed to be five in the script. And uh, we managed to find a way to do it with three, but uh, we only had two. So I was on the I was on the internet on on the phone a lot during the first day just to see if i can get a third vehicle which we couldn't get for that day uh but we ended up getting one it cost me a pretty penny i remember that too it was <laughs> that was but they of course they do the, i mean old classic cars cost you know a lot if you really want them so anyways we made it work it wasn't great but we made it work <laughs> But it was probably my scariest time on set. Uh, and then getting the text. I got the text from Jordan O'Neill wondering where the hell his ride was and asking me if the <laughs> shit has hit the fan. Such a diva. <laughs> <laughs> this was not well, in my know, contract. He, <laughs> I was like, it hasn't yet, but it's damn close. It's damn close. To like manager man. right now. <laughs> I was scared, man. I was like, "What's going on, bro? Like, are we we still making a movie? What's happening?" <laughs> uh, I can tell you my most memorable moment. thing on set. Oh, we are. Well, my scariest moment it wasn't even about me. It was in a Wharton. Nika walks out, and some of the like we were just trying to like you know dirty everybody up. And some of the fake blood got behind her contact lens. Oh, yes. It looked gnarly. Yeah. As a fellow contact lens wearer, 
I was scared to death. I'm like, oh no, we've blinded this girl. Dude, I was, <laughs> yeah, I, I can, I, I can vouch for that. I actually, I, I wouldn't say that was like a scary moment for me because like it, it didn't hurt or anything. But I wasn't aware. Well, I could, I could actually, I couldn't see it in my eye, but everything was red. Like if I looked out of that eye, everything was red. So I think it was more of like a cool moment. Um, but. <laughs> But like, I guess it was also not the greatest because I am aware that that's probably not the best thing to have in your eyes. Um, so we proceeded to spend like half an hour. Did they? I think these just died. Can you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. No, wait. Yep. Oh, I still hear you in one. Okay, never mind. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, we proceeded to spend like half an hour trying to wash it, and it just didn't work. So I had to throw it away and do the rest of the filming day with one contact lens, and that was hard. <laughs> Because I couldn't really see, but maybe it added to the performance. Who knows? Probably. Absolutely. <laughs> there are some fantastic performances from you. I'll just say that. Thank yeah. you. Well, fantastic performances from everybody, by the way. Um, just I so you all know. Scariest, my scariest moment was making sure Nika had a good time. <laughs> 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 so, so. I, I'm, a, I'm not a lot older than Nico, but I'm, I'm a few years older than her. And when I found out that Nico was like, you know, fresh out of high school and everything, I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, I immediately went big sister mode. I was like, nothing is going to happen to this girl. I was like, this girl is going to have a great time. And. I will say that I enjoyed being, I, I, I mean, you don't need anyone to look after you, which is great. You know, you're very mature, you're very independent, you're very headstrong, you know, but still, I was still was like, nah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with you. Like, I want to go with you. Like, no, we're here together. Like, that's cool. Like, I, I know you can do this on your own, girl, but no, <laughs> like, I'm going yeah. with you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, but also, you know, it wasn't like, felt like you needed a babysitter I enjoyed hanging out with you like I consider you a really good friend and that was one yeah. of my biggest things I was like we're supposed to play best friends my scariest thing is that we're not gonna like each other and I, was, I oh my gosh yeah, I was scared I was, really so scared. Um, I was really scared uh before meeting you and Jordan because I'm like okay these people I have a lot of on-screen interactions with them and I don't even know these people but um, I mean, it was, you guys are both amazing. And Alicia, you did a great job because I did have a really good time. So awesome. that was all when I was like, I just want to make sure, I don't care about me, whatever, like whatever. <laughs> but I just want Nika to have like a great time and a great experience because, you know, Nika's, Nika lives in Canada. She's not, you know, from the, the deep South. And if, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is the first time you were like in the South of the U.S., right? Yeah, yeah. you're right. <laughs> That was like the first time you were in like the south of the U.S. So I was just like, okay, I just want to make sure she she gets there safe. She has a great time. And then, you know, then she gets home safe. Like, <laughs> that was my big thing. Camp Council or Alicia? <laughs> hey, and because of all these jokers on here, I got a nice little goodie basket from it. And I keep y'all's little notes y'all wrote me at my desk for motivation. <laughs> So I really enjoyed it. Big love from y'all. Big love. All the love. All love. of it. All Riley, do you have any scary days on set? Um, no, probably just when Gene got hungry. That's about it. <laughs> yeah. I don't want Gene to get hungry. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most Gene answer ever, and I love it. It was, yeah. Oh, uh, no. This guy hungry. Yeah. No, I don't know. I don't think I really had any just other than, I mean, definitely like the moments where there was like real horror. I felt that. And I've done a lot of films. I've worked on a lot of sets and by far the Sawyer Massacre out beats all of those just with like the real like terror that you feel. And like, I felt that it was like the energy there was like very powerful and real. And I think people are going to see that on screen I big time. I do. It, um, and that's like the, the really the first time I've ever felt that. And I've worked on a lot of horror sets. So I mean, that's saying a lot, you know? Yeah. I'm just remembering the basement stuff we shot with, like with, with the three boys at the bottom, there's a scene where all three of you are just so intense and it's just, 
Uh, and in fact, like during doing the final cut, uh, when I did did my final Passover, and I went through that scene, and I said to myself, I remember something that we shot during during filming that's not in here that needs to be in here. It was a really really intense moment. I believe that Jordan O'Neill gave. And I said, uh, I, I, so I went back through the footage. Thank God I had the footage and I found it for Charlie. I said, Charlie, the scene is great, but look at the, look at this portion of this shot and tell me there's not a missed opportunity. That something we're missed that this wouldn't be a missed opportunity if it didn't make it into the cut. And uh, so he's put that in the cut and I, I'm so glad he did because it was just so intense and so realistic and I don't know. It just uh, I think I think it's really going to show. I'm I'm so excited for it. I'm so excited for that scene. I'm so uh, there's so many scenes I'm excited for. There's some scenes yeah. I'm not as excited for, of course. But uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I just want to say I'm glad I was. But for the most part, so I mean, I could watch it. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> it was, yeah, that's right. You got, to, you got to watch it, and that was that was great. I mean, like you put three of those guys in assless chaps, it's going to get intense, man, in a basement. I'm just telling you right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You there on the side rooting in y'all's ass. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. See, I'm just throwing off any. I, no, Steve, I appreciate you saying. I'm just throwing off any kind of like, no one's going to get spoiled tonight. It's not happening. <laughs> nope. Yeah. May tell me. No, that. that's awesome. Uh, was there another question? I appreciate there? that. Thank you. Kristen Spencer, what was the most memorable day on set? Um, the worst. The worst, the worst memorable? memorable. Does he mean most memorable, or I think I don't know what worst, that means. Uh, do you mean most memorable? Let's just go with most memorable. Yeah, because I don't know. Uh, he might be asking the same question he was was before too. But since we've already answered that, we may as well just say most memorable day. Um, I have to think about that. So, <laughs> you, somebody else go first. All of them, honestly. I feel like every day had something different. I remember every day. Um, I feel like the last day was really memorable because it was like the last day. But at the same time, like um, Alicia wasn't there. Um, Jordan Fortiz wasn't there. Briley was only there for part of it. Well, actually, you guys might have been there, but like not, you know, not actually like on yeah. camera. And so it was memorable. In a way, but also it would have been a lot more memorable if everyone was there. So yeah, I mean, every day had something different. It was very a weird cool. day, right? The last day it was like very like we shot like a lot of different stuff throughout like the whole script. It wasn't just like we're gonna yeah. do the last third. Like it was like sporadic stuff. So like they shot out think, Alicia and Fortis. But I, yeah. I do think some of the stuff that we filmed on that day was the most memorable. Like some of those scenes mm. were really intense and really fun. Although I will say, I feel like maybe the most memorable day for me was the first intense scene that I filmed. Um, just because like, you know, the other scenes are fun too, but there's nothing as fun as being scared, I think. Um, so yeah, I think that might've been the most memorable just cause it was kind of like, okay, this is what it's going to be like for the next few days. That makes sense. Yeah. I think the most memorable for me, it was, uh, I guess it was out in Bartlett. I don't know if it was day three four but I, I do remember that we got off set uh earlier than anticipated like things just kind of clicked or we you know we lost light and so we just I, know, I think that might have been like the day like hey for me it was like jordan you got one take at this by the way uh don't mess it up and it's just like me like running across the field or something you know, it's, it's something uh innocuous but it was the most memorable because it was when the five of us all because i didn't stay with you guys at the airbnb Right, I was up at here at home, being a local, and but it was uh, I decided, or Alicia and I had talked about it, I think, and I said like, look, we're getting off here, and I think the five of us should go have dinner, and well, you know, let's have a drink, let's get to really know each other, you know, because we're we're goofing off and stuff, but like let's actually like form this like bond and connection, and I thought that was a lot of fun, just because it was like you get to like you know the you have this mask on the character in a way and you kind of like let that go between takes and whatnot but like this is like hey we're gonna leave jimmy and lorraine and gene and whoever at the office right we're gonna leave them there they're not coming out with us it's just gonna be who we are and that was the most memorable for me i think yeah that was awesome mm -hmm. yeah that is awesome cool anybody else have a 
most memorable down set? I would just say nope. meeting all of you guys. <laughs> meeting all y'all is the best, I would go. say. Uh. The first day on set, then. You know what was yeah. weird, though? <laughs> what was weird is when you wrap up your part of filming and you go from being with completely strangers for, like, days back to back to back and then you go home and you go back to i guess like your normal routine life till your next project comes that was very weird for me like the first week back home i felt out of place because for two weeks i was living at somebody else's house you know sharing a room with two different girls you know and then you know, it, you could yell at somebody or hear a pin drop, you know, Steve's in one room, you know, you got Briley and Jordan Fortes in another room. I mean, like we were all like one big family in one big house. And then you leave that and you go home and it's like, where is everybody? <laughs> I know. <Yeah. laughs> it's like it was, coming home from it summer was, camp. Miss you guys. Mm -hmm. yeah. it just it's like, like cheaper by the dozen. Cheaper by the dozen. <laughs> by the dozen. <laughs> and we were cheap. <laughs> and by the dozen too. <laughs> I, loved, I loved cooking for y'all. I absolutely did. I don't know if you like my you cooking did some too great much. Cooking. Oh, I, I did. It. <laughs> it was either that or all the oh. big mouth uh, lines that Jordan Fortes. You guys are not hearing much of him on the stream tonight, but I tell you, this man has a thousand voices, and man, mm. once he gets on a roll, I mean. He he's, he doesn't just have an hour that he can give Netflix. This man can go on for five. Yeah. I don't know why hilarious. He is Netflix. Like he he <laughs> is. Like you want to watch Netflix? No, you you listen to him. That like, you're you, that is your Netflix. Right like there. he makes Seth MacFarlane exactly. look like a scrub. <laughs> like with your voiceover. <laughs> Seth MacFarlane can do a lot of voiceovers, but I'm telling you, Fortes, like. Truth, truth. If you're watching and you need a voice actor, look no further than this guy. I'm telling y'all. No. He's your man. He's your man. Oh, Jimmy, you're too kind. <laughs> it's him. him. No, not him. 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 Right there. Yeah, there you go. Good pointing, Alicia. <laughs> Touch yourself, um, Jimmy. <laughs> super motion vintage film. So Damn it's one it, of our associate producers. My warmest good wishes for the entire cast and crew. This film will be the most fantastic and authentic TCM film after the original 1974 version, in my opinion. And that's coming from one of our associate producers, Newper Motion Vintage Films. Thank you so much. I'll take your word for it. We've had a lot we of... Hope. We're well, seeing it. <laughs> you never know. Yeah, Jim, I think it'll be all right. I think, you know, I, I think our film will be okay. And... Uh, you know, I was oh, worried, I though. Gonna I'm, I'm not going to lie, guys. I was worried Steve. after filming this movie that, you know... You're underselling this right? thing. you got to remember, we, this yeah. is history. Steve, this is history, right? Didn't we not bring the chainsaw back to Texas? <laughs> we true. definitely did. I mean, come on now. Uh, yeah, now let's, talk about that. let's talk about that chainsaw real quickly here. Was That's that nice an awesome, chainsaw. gnarly, freaking chainsaw that we got? I think it was. Yeah. yeah. It was freaking it was crazy. crazy. You know what? It was scary. scary. As soon as you hear that thing go up. That chainsaw. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that yes. thing is, yeah, that thing is legit. God, mm -hmm. that thing was scary, man. It looks like, I don't know, like, it literally looks like a chainsaw from hell the way they, like, yeah, yeah. customized it's, it. I don't know how to yeah. describe it. It's anxiety ridden. Yeah, I mean, as soon as you see it. I know. <laughs> like, almost like spikes, like the blade, yeah. like blades yeah. on the outside of it. Yeah, exactly. It was the chainsaw from hell for sure. Yes. I definitely had an eye for the chainsaw. That's that's for sure. I knew I didn't want to go with the same chainsaw they used in the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre because uh, the movie was filmed in 73 and that chainsaw came out in 1970. I did my research. You do your research, people. <laughs> so uh, since our film was set in 65, it made sense to have an older chainsaw. So I was looking up 50s chainsaws uh, specifically for this, and Whoa. this came across that image of that chainsaw. Reached out to a lot of chainsaw groups on Facebook. A lot of them said, "Oh yeah, owners will never part with that with that saw if they have it." And uh, I mean, that thing looks like an invented heavy metal. <laughs> no Straight kidding. up. Yeah, it looks 
it looks great on Scotty. That's all I know. There's some great mm. shots of him with that chainsaw. That I don't know. I love though. it. I love it. Was, it was the right <laughs> saw. What's that? It was, it was heavy. Oh, it's very heavy. Yeah. 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 It's way Whoa. heavier than your average chainsaw. <laughs> all I remember is Jordan Fortes picking it up. And you yep. know, he's like, it's, 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 you got some weight. And he, he looks at me like, kind of like, oh, puts it down. And he goes, I don't know what voice he's doing. He's like, I'm glad I'm not Leatherface. And he just walks away. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Uh, It worked out pretty good. I don't (laughs) remember all the books that I did. No, I'm very happy with the way I mean, we're all sleep deprived, so I don't blame you. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, God. At one point, we just became so weird because we were so. It's so gone. So I, remember, we, I think we just became our authentic selves. <laughs> yeah. You're like, there yeah, was exactly. no facade yeah. left to put on. Nothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, I'm not even putting on a front anymore. I ain't even going to try. I can't. That's how you know your family. Yeah. Like, I can't. Yeah. Go. I can't. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to go back to my trailer now. So I'll see yeah. you guys when I'm needed. <laughs> yeah, okay? the one trailer. Yeah, we all got the same trailer. <laughs> yeah. <homie>. yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm going to go in the back of the trailer now. Leave me, the, me, leave me alone. Okay. <laughs> Hello from Su- Susie Lopez, uh, Jack Russell. You all look delicious tonight. I think I read that properly. <laughs> oh, shut yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, thank you guys yeah. all. I don't see any other questions. I don't see any other questions. If anybody Let me does, check the socials. Make sure nobody. I don't know. Up. Yeah. Just. Uh, oh, someone actually. Let us know if you have a question. Uh, and, uh, you oh, there you go. This. They said. Uh, they said like. Um, hold on. I clicked the wrong button. How excited are you all for the premiere in August? Very excited. Very. Like, um, just so, everybody. So I, I, I probably won't be able to make it, which is <laughs> the saddest thing ever, um, because <laughs> I'm actually going to be so um, at university <laughs> in Europe. So <laughs> it's basically impossible for me to get like from the end of my school day to texas and still make it even with the time difference i tried to work it out but you know i'm gonna see if i can take time off but they're pretty strict but i mean if i could be there i would be so excited just to see you guys all in person and again and i mean to watch the film um i think it'll be very awkward watching it alone so it would be nice if i could you know be there you could definitely pull a ferris bueller and just you know ferris bueller, get school yeah, yeah. <laughs> A little bit tough from France, right? Because you're, you're going to yeah, be in France, see, right, Nika? Uh, yes, that's I am. And I like, <laughs> like, like mm. I would, I would make it work. Except, um, they're like, if you miss like two days of school, then they like fire, not fire you, but they like unenroll you. So it's, mm. it's really strict. Ooh, yeah, French don't get around. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. And I thought the French were fun. <laughs> 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 well, if we if we can't uh, if if we can't actually get you there, Nika, let's uh, let's see if we can somehow stream you or something. I don't know. I want. I, well, Alicia, I'll, 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 I'll get her face printed out and put a popsicle behind cardboard cut out. Oh yeah. But yeah. yeah, I have Alicia. Everybody. I have an idea. So you can have like my face on a stick and then just like cut a hole in one of the eyes and then attach a phone to the back. And like yes. add uh-huh. on FaceTime, and then the camera can be like looking out the eye, so I can still be watching. Yes! Oh, okay. Like, I was like, that's gonna idea. be the creepiest photo it. op. <laughs> 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 Just, so I can still be there. Oh, here's in spirit. A, we'll make sure our press here's is a question. Sure. Here's a question. And Briley, if you have to go, you, you can go. Just so you know. Okay. Just so you know. I'll stay. I'll stay for this last. Okay. Last second. question. How hard? Hard was it to get the fake blood and makeup off of the costumes, Riley? You may as well PTSD go first. You, right now. you probably had the most makeup done. Uh, we oh my gosh! The yeah. Makeup, you... Wow. Well, I'll tell you this: Jean's wardrobe is definitely Jean's wardrobe. It's no one. It's it's. I mean, you, I could. I didn't want to touch it. I I put it all in a bag and just threw it somewhere, and it was so so disgusting. Just. So much blood that I was like, "Oh, there you go." I still have it. Yeah, I still got mine, yep. but I ain't taking it out. So see, yeah, she, she's. Mine. So I still have mine too. 
And it is so gross. I mean, the shoes even are just like, you wouldn't even be able to like touch them because it's so sticky and like the inside of the soles are just like soaked with blood. That's how much blood there was. I, I mean, a lot of blood. <laughs> oh, geez, look at that. Oh, no. no. Sorry, but seeing that just brought back. That's so how hard it was different. to get out. It just didn't come out at all. Uh, out. I think, yeah. yeah. How hard yeah. was it? It wasn't because it didn't. Yeah. <laughs> it didn't come out. Yeah, there was no, there's no saving that outfit at all. I mean, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's it's good that we filmed this somewhat chronologically because I don't know what we would have done. Somewhat. Like there was one, not totally. On, <laughs> yeah, well, that's the thing is on the last day, um, Jordan O'Neill and I had one scene to film where it was supposed to be like pre-blood, but yeah. I could not get the blood out of my dress. So, um, <laughs> luckily it was like scene. it was mostly out, but yeah, we we really tried to like. You know, cheat it to the camera so that you couldn't see. Um, but yeah, it was tough. Although I will say, it came off skin a lot easier than I thought it would. It's like you get in the shower and it just looks like red Kool Aid. It's just like instantly yeah. everywhere. But um, yeah. yeah, I mean, good right. thing it, it washed out of the yeah, actual the human a lot easier than yeah. the clothing. I will Before say the makeup that was on my leg that took a while to get off because it was like scar wax and everything. And then it like stuck to, you know, the hair on my leg and all that. So that was a lot of fun trying to get that off in the shower. <laughs> but I remember O'Neal telling you, dude, you should get that off as soon as you can. You're like, oh, it looks cool. Like I'm good. And then like it came down to get it off. Like, man, this like really hurts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. The, the last day, the last day of filming, we all like went to the restaurant again and I just walked in with my full costume and bloody hair and makeup and nobody even looked at me weirdly which was the the strangest thing it was like they see this all the time i guess yeah. this is texas yeah, yeah. This, you must have been in a gunfight little darling <laughs> i totally forgot i was like i went into a gas station with uh you know cry and like mascara all over the place i totally forgot you know i walk in there I'm, like smiling all happy i look like a psycho <laughs> honey are you okay and i was like yeah i'm great I was just yeah. wondering. I get back in the car and I was like, oh shit. <laughs> See, <laughs> that would have been fun if like all the cast could have just had a day to go out all bloodied up and stuff. That would have been cool. And just Scotty's in like a well, tux. Scotty yeah, and I did that. Normally. <laughs> yeah. Scotty, got bloodied Scotty and I literally went to a gas know. station all bloodied up. Yeah. What happened? And there was, well, there was a police officer there and he looked at us as soon as we came in. He was like, and Scotty's like, don't worry, we're filming a movie. Like, oh, yeah. I remember that. Well, you know, that's a war, get on the yeah. ground. <laughs> <laughs> no, that looked legit. It was crazy. It like, legit happened. It was nuts. And the store owner's like, are you guys okay? We're like, dude, we're, we're like, ha we have a break. We're just getting a drink. Don't worry. And the cop's looking at us like, I don't know, man. And, I'm like, and he's like, all right, you guys are good. I believe you. <laughs> well, Scotty got pulled over. Just like, it's my time to shine. Remember one time Scotty, Scotty got uh, Scotty got pulled over and didn't he yeah. have blood on him then too? Yeah, yeah. he got pulled oh, over. He did. And he didn't know any of the information for the car he was driving, like whether it had insurance or anything. He had no idea. And then they opened the trunk. Dude looking like the Unabomber. <laughs> and then the, the cop opened the trunk and the leather face masks were all sitting there. Yep. So he opens the trunk and the cop <laughs> apparently was like, huh. <laughs> you know, and uh, Alrighty then. Probably like, I, I would, think that I don't know. Scotty's scariest <laughs> moment on set. Yeah, that, that would have been Scotty's scariest moment on set for sure. So, yeah, I don't think that was, after, I think that was the day after. I think that was after we filmed that that one, that the longest the last, day. That was the last day in Bastrop. No, that was the second in last Bartlett, day. Bartlett, you mean? Yeah, Bartlett. That we shot Bartlett. in Bartlett. Yeah, Bartlett. Yeah, that was the second last yeah. day in Bartlett. Or, yeah. That makes sense because we shot you 15 pages in one day. It was a really long day. And we, I get this call. Uh, Charlie and I were driving back to Bastrop from Bartlett, and we get a call from Scotty. Well, we're we're already like halfway there, back to Bastrop. Is like, uh, I got pulled over by the cops, so I need somebody to come get me. They won't let me go because the taillights are out or something. <laughs> it, yeah, that's the reason. Yeah. Good time. Good time. <laughs> well, that was one of the reasons, I guess. That was the reason why he got pulled over. And then and it got worse the there. Pop saw it got worse and... there. Was the trunk was popped and everything. Yeah. I don't know if Scotty's allowed back in Texas, man. That boy might have priors. <laughs> 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 he might be a little dangerous. Yeah. 
Scotty, how bad you want to see this movie, bro? I know, I know. Fly to New Mexico and drive your ass the rest of the way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, uh, Christine uh, says bye, bye to every, to us all. We'll see you bye. all in we'll see you in Texas very soon. Bye, bye Chris. Love you too. Chris, Can't wait to see you. Yeah, you were an awesome host. And so uh, bye to Busathis for me. Yeah, and the other two cats. Oh, see, see, see. And uh, Jason Fangoria Faithful's got a split. Uh, I guess that'll Faithful, be my a, uh, magazine. Steve, is Fangoria What's that? Faithful like a is Fangoria Faithful a YouTube channel or a magazine? No, he's a uh, he's the guy that designed our logo. Logo. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, but like, he. I believe it's a Facebook page and an Instagram page that he has too. It's like dedicated oh. to Fangoria, the website, magazine, yeah. Fangoria. whatever. Well, I was just gonna say, if we have any people yeah. who work for media outlets out there, uh, I sent out the emails yesterday. But if you have, you know, like a podcast, if you've got a magazine or you work for a paper or something where you review um, films, reach out. You know, Steve, yeah. we've got a yep. limited number of press tickets available, and you will have access to the cast and the crew at the premiere for a Q&A session privately, not just a Q&A for the audience, but you'll get to ask the questions that you bring. So reach out to us if you're interested. Doesn't that sound awesome? I think that's totally awesome. That sounds amazing. I think so. I've reached out to Dread Central and Bloody Disgusting and Fangoria and, you know. Yeah. We'll see what happens. (laughs) We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. But uh, there you go. I think that pretty much covers everything. I don't. Oh, we lost him again. Don't... Hello? Like, Am I still there? <laughs> oh, no. Hello? <laughs> Hello? Hello? <laughs> oh, a little bit oh, frozen, no. eh? Is he glitched well, like that? This is the part where we just no, he's actually just frozen. He's <laughs> dang, he's messing with us. I think this is him doing a bit. Oh like, watch, we can all do it too. Just like there you go. Right, ready, go. <laughs> <laughs> what's going Rush. on? I have no idea what's going on. Hey, there he right is. Hey. Welcome back. All right, I'll say cheese. Cheese. Was I frozen? Yes. Only for yeah, like, a lot. You were gone yeah. for like 33 uh, seconds, okay. my friend. <laughs> we all yeah. freeze framed. We went. I was worried for a second. Was I really? That was a challenge. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> yeah. Freeze frame challenge. It's like Animal yeah. Kingdom, dude. It's like just turned into a freaking jungle. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, I, I think it's something with StreamYard. StreamYard, am I frozen again? No, you're no, good. You're good. Am I frozen oh. again? <laughs> He's got uh, you. Frozen? There you go. You're back to life. Oh. Oh. I don't know if he can hear us now. Now I'm worried. Uh, I'm messing with you guys here, but I don't know. Right. You're, you're good, Steve. Keep going. Steve. Keep going. <laughs> I totally lost my train of thought now. Uh, hope the <laughs> premiere is it. epic for you all. Thank you so much. Uh, hope you try to make it down, man. Try to make it down, Coffee right, Comics I'm Nerd. August 26th. August 26th. It's going to be epic. You told us today. The tickets will be available at the door, but what tickets will not be available? There's a certain ticket that's only available for Indiegogo. VIP. Yeah. And what do they get with that? What's, available. What's, what's the VIP what's ticket get you? What does the VIP ticket VIP get you? VIP ticket gets you like the uh, mingling and the drinks and, and the uh, meet the cast and crew and ask your questions to the cast and crew. So the, the regular tickets are just to see the movie. And with the VIP tickets, you get everything. Everything, so and I have get your VIP I, tickets. I found out during the stream we do have a red carpet. I confirmed it, so this is brand new news. We have a full on oh, red, I mean, wow. red carpet. So this is making I'm, me so happy and so sad. At the same oh time. no! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. So I mean, if you're producers, if you're donors, if you're coming, I mean, dress up, make this a fun event. You know, pretend like this is the horror movie Oscars. Let's do um, this thing right. I mean, would this be appropriate yeah. to wear? hundred percent. I was going to say, you carpet. should wear that. Yes, that one method. One hundred percent. You have yeah. to wear that and no pants. I went full on Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> no, that's Gene's oh. job. Jean's yeah, Jean's right. Jean's Jean's thing, Jean's Jean's thing, man. Put your pants on, Gene. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. I never wear pants, right. so no. <laughs> right. Yeah, you're right. I say all three. Apparently, Gene doesn't either. Gene, Jimmy, and Grant. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Go. Oh, oh there's our <laughs> lovely spam again. I'm with you, Fortes. Let's do it. All right. Leopard print in a couple weeks. We I'm go. down. Oh, Let's yeah. do it. <laughs> Steve, you still have the assless chaps from Seth. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and the leather pig mask. Um, <laughs> I have an old friend, Bill or or Orendorf. Uh, he's a filmmaker in Austin. Oh, cool! I'll inform him about you all premiere. Oh, that'd be great. Let him know to come, and uh, it's going to be a great premiere. It's going to be, gonna be awesome. totally awesome. Like totally. Awesome. I think. I think and ticket uh, doors are going to open. Don't quote there. me. Ticket doors are going to open about six thirty. I think is when we're going to do it. So we just got to have time to get in there and set that bad boy up, you know, get the red carpet rolled out, literally uh, put the backdrop up and uh, let our sponsors get in there and set up their bars. But it's going to, it's going to be a fun night. So if you're in Austin, if you're in Houston, Dallas, Waco, Waxahachie, where Fortis is from, you know, San Antonio, Corpus Christi, and you're a horror fan, come be part of history. Yes. Love it. This is horror history here folks it is it is indeed it's exciting mm-hmm. it needs to be august already and it's probably it might yeah oh there you go oh, and... so because other, other than that it'll just be online yeah yeah everyone please go to the premiere so i can live vicariously through you <laughs> there you go yeah <laughs> oh, Nika, we're going to make sure, uh, I'll talk to you later, but we're going to, I have an idea, like, so you'll be there, and this is not me joking, uh, to have you there in spirit. We're going to, I have a couple ideas, so I'll, I'll get with you and talk to you about that. Cool. Sounds good. And I'll still see if I can That's awesome. pull some strings and, you know, get well, there. I've already wrote the hefty letter to your dean of school. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm here, I, Dane. I'm hard. <laughs> I'm so maybe get dean up on can... way. Yeah. <laughs> This, this, is here, like, this is the Jane that? machine, and I need to talk to you. Yeah, she needs that little like what's that little time travel thing Hermione has in like Harry Potter three. Oh, like, yes. she has all her classes. That's what you need, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Or a hologram from Star Wars or something. You know, like, something, man. No, sitting you know in the chair, mean, like even if I could just teleport, then I could still make it in time with the time change. Yeah, you even hear that, Elon? Oh, get on the tech. Yeah, come on, Elon. Yeah, you gotta get on that, Elon. Tell Elon to get on that crap. Wait, yeah. I'll go. I'll go talk tomorrow. He's local now. I'll go. I'll yeah. go hit him up. Let's go send him a DM. <laughs> yeah, send him a DM real quick. I'll add he him. Le- he leaves us on red. Oh yeah. <laughs> Man, that's the worst when you get left Who's on red. Man? Ghosted again. Damn, that makes the thirteenth one. <laughs> Autographs of the cast. Movie fan, okay. this is Jason. I'm guessing Jason Atkinson. Jason Atkinson from Facebook. I hope to get uh, autographs of all the cast. I'm a huge fan, TCM fan. Well, hopefully I can make it to the premiere, and then that, that's that's the opportunity to do that. Bring a pen, bro. We'll uh, again, tickets are available on the Indiegogo campaign, VIP ticket. Get your tickets. Uh, uh, like I said, VIP tickets are not going to be available after our Indiegogo page uh, has ended. So uh, if you if you want it, want the VIP tickets, got to get them on the Indiegogo page while it's up because it's uh, mm-hmm. probably not going to be up at the end, by the end of the month uh, unless we do hit our goal. But even if we do hit our goal, I'm going to be changing a lot of stuff on there. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll leave the VIP tickets up for too long. If if I if I might, I might leave them up for a little bit, but not too long. Um, but we're going to be taking down all the producer perks and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, it'll be a very minimal at that point if we go in demand. So, uh, but tickets will be available still on there. And, uh, if not, you can get them at the door, 30 bucks at the door, at us. And, uh, yeah, it'll be a great time. It'll great. T- Does anybody else have something they want to say before we call this tonight? Tonight. Steve, didn't you say you had? We some lost news Fortis, I see. Oh no, he's he's around. No, oh, there he is. He's coming back. There he is. He's buffer. Oh yeah, wait, Steve, you did say he's something about back. a surprise or something. Yeah. Well, surprise, I wanted to surprise dude. everybody with a. I just have a terrible wanted, connection out here in the country. So. Surprise everybody with a clip. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh. What can you do? Oh. I wanted to surprise yeah. everybody with a clip of all you guys in the movie. 
Okay. However, StreamYard is not allowing that to happen. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> so, so I don't have that surprise. StreamYard. I wanted to have a surprise. At StreamYard. But... Yeah, at StreamYard. Yeah. Absolutely <laughs> dreadful. Just like, no. StreamYard, uh, get your shit together. I have a really cool <laughs> clip of you guys. And Fix your I service. I have a really cool right clip now. of you guys in that uh, Cadillac. Ooh. Oh, oh, I want to see that scene so much. I totally yeah. forgot about that scene. Oh, my oh, God. That was Ooh. so fun. Great scene. I love that. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Uh, anyway, <laughs> unfortunately, I'll, I'll, what I'll, you what I'll try to close. do is maybe I'll... What, what's that? Talk about getting close. Like, we were, like, thigh to thigh, man. Yeah. That was a small car. <laughs> yeah. hey, that was a cool car, though. Yeah. That was a, hey, oh, that yeah. was a pretty that, cool car. I was obsessed with that yeah. car. A lot of people parked yeah. back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we also have a trailer coming out very soon. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when we'll have that trailer ready. Uh, I'm going on vacation here pretty soon. So if Kyle gets it back to me, uh, if he gets it back to me before the end of the month, we'll have a trailer before the end of the month. If not, it'll be mid mid July by the time we get the trailer up. Uh, but yeah, Kyle's doing sound design. I'm not sure if Kyle is still in the chat. Probably not. He probably got bored of us, you know. He's a good guy, but uh, you know. He's oh, our buddy uh, Carlos, the lazy reviewers in the chat as well. Hey, Carlos. Hello. And uh, Hello. Mark, Steve, can you message me later for your Indiegogo campaign so my friend can get tickets? You bet I can, Mark. You bet I can. Uh, link is in the description, though. Just so you know, uh, if you click the description of this video, you will see. Hey. Steve, since you can't uh, play the clip here, are you able to like send it to us, maybe in a group message on? Of course, Instagram? of course, and I can even Ooh. post it on YouTube, which I. But it's kind of like, I don't know. It would, be, it would have been nice to be able to play it in yeah. in this, but yeah. I wasn't able to do it unfortunately. You can't share. But, a video yeah, I can from definitely your do that. What's that? You can't share a video from your computer. Is that what the holdup is? It's Streamyard doesn't like the type of file or something like that. Uh, it's uh, it's it's odd. It is weird. It's odd, which is weird because I think my, my intro and outro videos are the same type of file. But I was gonna say, yeah. I don't know. I don't know what the the issue is. They look like they're the same type of MP4 or something like that. But uh, I don't know. It, uh, Streamyard was not uh, was not having it. So huh. I could unfortunately couldn't get that in, but uh Bummer. I'll share it to you guys. It's a pretty cool little clip. Um, it's the sound design isn't perfect on it yet because we haven't sent it to our buddy Kyle, but the sound is good because it was recorded well. So I think shout out to like Ben. Shout yeah. out to ben. ben, the sound ninja. The Boy, sound ben. ninja. He was amazing. He was awesome. We definitely got the right sound guy. I'm just going to oh, say yeah. that. Andy I'm so glad we got Ben. I was a little bit nervous about sound for a bit. And then, because I didn't have a oh, lot I of budget for weird. sound. And I know sound guys are expensive. They're worth ben the investment. Yeah. Just glad Ben. Man, that would have been so cool to see, though. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There you go. Uh, does anybody else have anything they want to say before we call it a night? Jordan, I thought you had a little surprise too. Which We're Jordan? Which, yeah. Mr. O'Neill. Jordan O'Neill. Jordan O'Neill. Oh, oh, oh that's anyway. Oh, it was just it, it was just the uh, the red carpet and the all the sponsors we had. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, that, that was cool. that big. That was that was what I had. Yeah, yeah. it was we uh, we confirmed still Austin a couple of days ago. That's a big deal because they're just such a – they're pretty prolific in the um, – like if you work in just like the liquor industry in town, like you know them and you know they make a quality product. So it's very exciting that they're willing to just donate not only their product so generously, but they are bringing out like a bartender to speak to the product and, you know, and they're doing that on – just out of the generosity of their hearts. So I, I'm super pumped that they are they, like, they, I mean, they want to see the space. They want to know like the time they want to know, like, how can we do this? Um, you know, cause the thing is the venue doesn't have a TABC license, which means the venue is not set up where they could sell liquor. That would be illegal. So that's what mm -hmm. I'm saying. You buy these VIP tickets. It's, I mean, you're paying to get in the door and to watch the film, but the, 
you know, the refreshments are free because we have to give it away. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. so, I mean, like, yeah. and you're going to, and not only that, I mean, I think this is also going to be, I don't want to oversell it, but this is going to be kind of a networking event. I'm talking to all the filmmakers in town that I know, all the actors, uh, you know, the directors, the writers, the producers, the people yeah. who run other film festivals have been reaching out to me who are friends saying, what's this thing about? And I'm like, you, you got to come see it, man. You got to be there. It's because it's not like, you know, networking events, you do them once a month or whatever. This is a, it's like theater. We're doing it one time. We're putting on the show and then it's That's over. It. It's mm-hmm. done. So yeah, exactly that. Be there. I wish yeah. you had. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, yeah, I've, I've already reached out to a few big people in the film industry. Uh, it was a good chance. We, it was a good chance. We're going to have Peter Anthony come. He's the guy that did Roseblood. Oh. Riley, you know him very well. Yeah, I, he's amazing. Yeah. I was worked with him on Vengeance too, the uh, Friday the Thirteenth. Yeah. Oh God, he's That's a really right. cool guy. So, yeah. so he's probably coming. Uh, I've reached out to Alan Danzinger from the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre. He sounds like he's probably coming too. I don't, not can't say for sure, but uh, there's a good chance. I invited Ed Neal yeah. as well, but he hasn't. He hasn't turn back Look, <laughs> alan if i watch the original film will you show up <laughs> i'll watch the movie i'll watch the movie if you'll show up yeah How about if, that? if I'll jordan make that watches right the now. original show film. yeah do it I'll, we I'll, need I'll document proof. Original if you show we need up document <laughs> proof. i will I will, you're watching it. I will sit stream. next to you and make sure you watch the whole thing yeah can you use clockwork orange me the whole yes. time like, yeah and i'm gonna analyze you like Ugh, <laughs> exactly. how does that make you feel <laughs> eyeballs back and Bri will get one arm i'll get the other arm yep. to watch hold that. me down someone's gonna feed him popcorn while i was like just throw them nick is just gonna throw gummy bears in the back yeah, just like, oh, <laughs> wait. well it's been awesome talking to all of you guys we'll call it a night here i'm sure we went on far too long for briley <laughs> oh no you're fine oh good <laughs> oh it's all good you stuck around and you didn't have to you know you, you could have left any time you wanted but uh oh, no. thank you for everybody I for uh, coming in tonight and asking the questions in the chat thank you all it's great to see all of you again i know it's not going to be the last time you guys are amazing <laughs> and uh we look i look forward to seeing yep. oh god exhibit a that's a uh, o'neill right there actually years <laughs> that's forcing him to there watch the texas Chainsaw massacre yeah, twist my arm. There you go. You got to watch it. You got to watch it. I will. Anyways, I will. Um, for you guys, thank you guys for coming I on. Love you all. I look you. forward to seeing you guys at the premiere. You. Love miss you all. Good to see you all, too. Y'all and, are miss awesome. you guys. Fantastic. We'll see you in August. See you all. See you Bye. in August. It's going to be fun. Yeah, I love fun. you. <laughs> I love you. I love you guys. I miss you guys. guys. I really want to see you guys, but I'll try to figure it out. This won't be the last time. We'll figure, we'll figure something out. We'll figure something out. All right. Thanks, guys. Have Can't a good night. Best crew I ever worked with. Mm-hmm.